multiple layers. Didn't say many. <laughs> At least two of them. The, the, the fucking awards are hard. Ignore me. <laughs> okay. Pretty rough. <clears throat> All right. So, do 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 do. Let's see. Do 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 do. That's a. I vote we kick shabu. I don't. We just do D and D tomorrow night. <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, uh, last time, you guys mopped up the Medusa and their pet fart, who were gatekeeping rock boy. Pushing on, okay. you found a temple. It was uh, the old stone speaker's temple, which had been corrupted, and you agreed to cleanse it for old Gurnip Takpinger, the head priest of the stone speakers, in exchange for a blessing. Uh, you cleanse the temple by placing the spell gem into the socket and defending it until the three guardians rose and all was good just in time. You rested up whilst the others scouted around, um, found some rubble, and then you just found out it was a passive way back into the reclaimed part of inner plane stone. So it wasn't a huge deal, but uh, you know maybe that's something that can be cleared out in the future when rock light is confirmed safe. You had one task left if you so chose to take it up, and that was to bring back the body of a certain bothersome ghost to the catacombs of Inner Blind Stone to rest, and to allow the warring spirits to rest. So you chased him down and managed to grab his body. You exited the district of Rockboy now, which was a lot more safe due to your help and claimed your reward from Vizuk, the cynical captain of the staging area. He insisted you take the Medusa head and said it'd be wise to speak with the Daggerman Talks and tell them what the deal in Rock Blight was uh, since you've left it. But first, you decided to pay a visit to the Ruby in the Rough when you heard, uh, sorry, when you found uh, the Stoneheart Enclave still working on the Ruby in the Rough and a very pleased Gurnik who, through his worship of the Speaking Stones, had re-established a strong connection with Sejidan, their god, and as a reward, took you to the stones to bless each of you, and you had a choice, uh, the blessing of Sejidan's toughness, the blessing of his protection, or the blessing of his might. Each of you chose your wee boon, and the rituals were performed successfully. Uh, you then took the restless spirit's body to the catacombs where you met Burrow Warden Jaeger. He was a ominous guy at first, but the illusion was swiftly dropped after some uh, misunderstanding. But he thanked you for your help nonetheless. He was very blunt, asked a few questions, and as a thanks, he said he'd answer a few questions with the Underdark as he had extensive knowledge. An experience, but perhaps dated, since he's probably been dead for a while. About the Underdark. Uh, this was perfect though, because you asked him about Entimonk's boon, and its location, to which he actually knew something about, since it was a long time ago. He actually had some knowledge on it. He pointed out on your map, it was about uh, one or two miles due west-northwest of Blingdonstone, outside of the gates. And after some awkward interaction at the end there, he just disappeared into the walls. You then made your way uh, to brief the Daggerman Talks on the situation in Rock Blight. And, uh, but upon your approach, their hall uh, was being accosted by an angry mob of citizens. Well, if you can call them that, I guess. They appeared to be riled up at the current situation within Blingdonstone, the lack of space, wanting to expand into the Warrens and exterminate the Weirats who reside there to eliminate the threat. And there was also some uh, paranoid accusations that the Weirats been responsible for the increase in um, ooze attacks happening more and more each day. And you guys, you know, you guys quelled one of those little ooze attacks, so you know what it's all about. But Dorbo seemed keen on the idea, but mentioned not really having the manpower to man an army and have them attack the rats, especially since they didn't really have knowledge of the area right now. 
Um, but he did, however, mention putting together a scouting team who would be arriving shortly to see what was going on and if the rats were actually responsible for the ooze attacks and maybe if there was a vector of attack to murdering the uh, rodents, the scum. This is where you push your way through the crowd to meet the Thagerman talks <coughs> at the top of the stairs and you're allowed to pass as they invite you in to be briefed and uh, that's sort of where we pick back up. So you guys are basically walking, um, there's some guards uh, behind and most of them still forming a line at the top of the stairs to prevent any angry peeps from getting in and a couple of them kind of trail behind you guys um, into the large minimalist hall where they take you up further steps onto a plateau where there's a large uh, stone table with stone chairs where most of the advisors generally sit and as we left off there was actually like a there was some kind of map uh, where they had pieces set up kind of like a battle uh, strategy map medieval style however as you guys approach and sit down before you can get a good look uh, a couple of the advisors swiftly uh, sweep off the pieces and roll the map up in haste uh, quite clearly not wanting you to see what they were up to uh, but Seni and Dor Dorbo don't make any big fuss about it, it's kind of just the advisors and stuff. But um, they sit at the heads of the stone rectangular table where all the seats are and kind of allow you guys to sit down and fill them in what's going on. So that's where we kind of pick up. And so that is how I saved everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Again. Wow, uh, one of the advisors is like, Bullshit. Nah, just kidding. <laughs> Bullshit. Deception check. Uh, yeah. Anyway, Lies, what? deception. Mm. Now, as you guys like sit down, and uh, Sani kind of like, um, <clears throat> leans in on the table, intently looking at you all, uh, cr cross in each of your faces and she softly says uh, so I presume your excursion into rock plate was successful from what we can tell yes um, the hydro 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 wow. Medusa. I well, hydro. that wasn't an ideal but thanks <laughs> it's, been a, it's, been a long, <laughs> it's been a long day we have a, a, real, a real gift for you, though. Uh, <coughs> you can, Dorbo just kind of exclaims uh, from like the corner of your vision. He just says, Well, show us then. Bring him back out. No. And he's, he says, um, Why would we do such a ridiculous thing? I'm going to point something on it. Uh, it rhymes in Boone. It is Boone. Oh, yeah. It is Boone. <laughs> <laughs> and he says, uh... We have a possible location on Intermax Boone. We have the location of Intermax Boone. Possible. We're pretty sure. Pretty sure. And Somewhere there. how did you come across this information? Um... <clears throat> Bosnia. And from the sounds of it, it sounds <laughs> unverified. <laughs> Yeah, it's unverified, but you know, we're going to go there and find it, so we can might as well tell you. Right. Well, and then Sandy kind of chimes in. She says, um, well, unconfirmed or not, that's, that's good to at least follow up on it. And the uh, Stoneheart Uncle will be happy to know this, if it's true. And that would greatly help with the reclamation of the parts of the city which haven't been repaired yet but um back to rock blight um so you say you took care of the medusa yes the medusa's medusa. gone your the weird gaseous creature is gone yes i, I was going to say uh ogre walked, yeah and how how did you deal with them if i may ask uh it wasn't exact science but have, have i showed them the head of medusa no. Yeah, I assume so. 
No, you guys, yeah. you guys were like, before I'd even finished my sentence, you were like, I peel it a bit, I had to peel it, and I was like, okay, so do you peel it now, or do you wait till you sit down? And you're like, oh, before we sat down, and I was like, I don't know, we'll just do this, and then I cut it off at the end of the episode. I was like, all right, yeah. this will do. So, uh, let's say, well, the guard didn't want to keep it, so I have its head here. Oh, okay, so you peel it out. Yeah, I don't. I pull the bag out. I don't pull the head out. Uh. Okay, and they look at the bag, and they can see it looks kind of deflated. It's a bag of holding, right? Yeah, bag of holding. Oh, holding, yeah. Holding. <laughs> okay, so he'll, uh, <laughs> it looks like a nice bag, a though. You know, it's a nice like uh, sort of leather uh, composite bag, and they're kind of looking at it, and uh, Dora says, "Well, show us." And Sandy's like, uh, uh... Is it safe? Yeah, it's safe. Should yeah. be. Yeah. There we have tested it thoroughly. It's gazed, that's not carried over into death. Okay. And Wanna have a look? Thor was like, yes, out with the head. Let's I'll see. I'll whip it out after you. <laughs> Alright, you whip the head or you... Wait, well, before, before, the, before I have five warning shots in my back. <laughs> You have what? <laughs> I have one in shock in the back. Uh, so you you pull out, and you can see uh, Dorval leans in, and like his bro kind of furrows a bit, and he's <coughs> examining it closely, whereas all the advisors and stuff kind of recoil, and they avert their eyes. There's a bit, half a dozen of them at this point. They kind of like, <laughs> oh, avert their eyes and stuff. And Sani as well, she kind of like winces a bit, but then slowly opens her eyes and kind of looks to it, and uh, Dorbo says, oh, Impressive. Uh, good job. Uh, so you're capable fighters, then. It's good yes. To, yep. No comma. Good to know. And he, you can see he's got like a thinking face on. And um, he says, So the, the Bane, uh, do you have proof of the Bane's death? Uh, we didn't really get much proof, no. No. It was made of gas. It's just kind of gone. We're pretty sure we banished it. Um, it wasn't me this time. Make, yeah, a, make a persuasion check. And I'll give you advantage, since you guys are all, you know, chiming <clears> in. <throat> Wait a minute, me make a persuasion check. Yeah, you're leading the conversation here. I should not would you be like me that. to make a persuasion check? No, nope. I would like nope. Bosner to, with advantage. <laughs> I believe in you. Alright, that's fine. That's not too bad. Uh, God for advantage. You, you can tell Dor was a pretty. He doesn't take the words of uh, outsiders. You can tell he's a bit skeptical, you guys, even. You've somewhat proven yourself here and there. You can see Sani's kind of buying into you, it seems. Uh, you don't need to insight that. You can kind of tell um, she kind of appreciates the help in the marketplace and you guys diving into rock plate. You know, you've killed the Medusa. But you can see Dorval, you know, he's still on the fence, it looks like. Uh, but he says, uh, after a few seconds pause, right. Uh, so... It should be safe to send in our elementals. For the most part, I believe so, yes. Ah, uh, what do you mean by that? Well, no, I mean, there's, there's no magical fart, but there might there's be There's no magical fart. We had trouble with spirits in the area. Although we believe that we might be able to have quelled the overall problem. I'm not... There is no clear proof of it being completely dealt with. Also... Clear proof there was no ghosts. Just wizards. <laughs> Don't listen to him, he doesn't believe in ghosts. Uh, he kind of like grumbles and starts rubbing his chin. And he... He's just like... Mm, we'll have to inspect that. Perhaps send in some, some of the stone hearts. I can't really spare the guards at the moment. And uh... He says, is there anything else to report from Rob Blight? Uh, uh, we purged the temple. Apart from that, yes. Purged the temple? Uh, Cleanse the temple. I was yeah. not made aware of... It was what more of a favour rather than a 
Favor to who? Uh. Don't speak this. No, I lost it. Where is it? I have his name somewhere. Hang on. You know that guy. Yeah, that the, one. Just a stone speaking. The Temple of Sejodan. That one. Gurning. Sejodan. It was Gurning. Oh, yes, I see it. Yeah. Yes, Gurning Tapfinger. Like you're the mention of that thing, he's like. Oh, that's. That's great. Oh. Gurning's a good. <laughs> she's, like, she's, like, she's like, Gurning's a good man, and then Dorb was just like. Kind of insight like, check. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> insight. Damn. Oh. Oh. You can see she's a bit like. You can. Uh. Yeah, you could tell, you know, she's trying to be nice about it. <laughs> or it's like she's not completely being go to super honest. And you can tell with that check, like, I know you're specifically inciting her, but most of you can tell, like, Doro this doesn't seem keen on Gurnik. And he kind of like, grumbles and, and crosses his arms a bit. And he says, uh, we do it helping that old cook. He hasn't done much to help us reclaim our endure. All he does is sit around all day, praying. Well, well in the process, that was how we managed to cleanse quite a few of the elementals that were corrupted within Rockboy. We say cleanse. They're dead. <laughs> you know, Did an conch. elemental ever have life? I don't think oh, so. that's true. But yeah, they were just destroyed, unfortunately. That's that's the, our worry just now. Is uh, this was after we uh, got rid of the fart. <laughs> See, and the elementals were still uh, attacking us, so I'm not sure. Uh, well, they may have been permanently turned by the power. Yeah, possibly. Yeah. He says. Uh... <coughs> Very well. I'll send in stone hearts with their uh, elementals of their own. They should be able to take care of the rest if there's any left over. However, I should think so. If, it if Ogre Mock's fine and still lives, then it could possibly be a death sentence to them. Yeah, as at the end of that, I'm like, well, you may have one of your own, and then I like put the earth elemental core up to it at the what we first fought in rock, rock Blade. Oh, the big one. Yeah, and I like spin it across the table. Yeah. Okay. That's the core of one I managed to to retrieve. Um, may, may I suggest that you send someone that knows how to deal with wind with the with the party? Uh, because it was quite easy to trap the. Bane, the with the wind cell. You told me the bane has been taken care of. Yeah, but just yes, in case there's more of one. He says we do not have any aeromancers in our midst. Only stone shapers. Mm, I see. We're pretty sure it's gone, but you know. <laughs> he just. Careful thinking at this point. <coughs> um, hmm. Sandy kind of calls over, uh, over the table. Dorval, I'm sure they're telling the truth. They're good people. Why would lie? And he says, "Well, they hardly seem sure of it." Before we can reclaim Rockblade, yeah. we must be sure. We can't afford to lose any more of our guards or stone shapers. At this point, what well, we can't be sure of it's not there anymore. At this point, you hear you guys hear uh, coming, echoing through the hall. Uh, you still hear the vague 
chattering going on outside uh, from the angry mob. Uh, but you do hear the footsteps, several footsteps, echoing through the chamber. And as you turn over your shoulders, you see walking up the steps is a uh, Kremit and uh, four other guards. Our boy. Uh, Our boy. But, like, two to each of his side. The people's champ. And he's walking up the center. And <laughs> you guys can see he has some snazzy new gear and he has a helmet on which he didn't oh he's before. a carpet version too um and he's leveled up yeah leveled up that he's XP. got peps, peps and stripes yeah he's got some stripes why not yeah you can tell he's obviously uh his station's been elevated somewhat he's got nicer looking equipment and he starts walking up uh still looking like a dipshit but you know <laughs> He, he comes up with his eyes, still looking in different directions. And I need to remember the voice, so you have to be. Give me a sec. So. Well, first he comes up, and. Uh, you can see. Mm, who's got, like, good. Who's got good. Uh, wisdom? Uh, two. Is there anyone proficient in insight? Uh, no. no. I am. You are. I have a 19 passive perception. There's a tear in his eye. He's happy. Right, I'll say Bosner and Adara. You guys can make insight checks. This this isn't even that big a deal, but just stuff that makes. Hey, it's our boy Kermit. Of course it is. Kermit. Kermit. <laughs> Kermit. <laughs> Wish I could do a Kermit voice. Kermit. I don't even know what it sounds like. <laughs> uh, so Adara, you notice. Uh, I lost it. It's gone. Insight. Sandy looks. <laughs> Sandy, Sandy looks pretty uncomfortable. As they approach. Oh. Bosner, you don't know this. But you're like, damn! Cram it looking snazzy. Uh, so he approaches, and Sani just sits there silently. You know, as Adara, that she's looking pretty uncomfortable. And uh, Dorbo says, ah, the scouting party have arranged. And, uh, and uh, he looks to you all and he says, and we did see that. Kremit received that promotion you requested. Since he is such a brave fighter, I will put him to good use. And he turns back and says, uh, Kremit is now the leader of our very first scouting squad. And Kremit's like, uh, <coughs> fuck. <coughs> Alright, give me a oh, sec. <laughs> No, that's uh, that's not Kremit, dude. Rumpadump. That's still. <laughs> that right. was Rumpadump. Alright. Oh, yeah. So he's Drake. just like. Uh. <laughs> Hello, I'm the Kremit. <laughs> there, I am there he doing is. the reporting for duties. And he's. And I was like. Uh, he kinda. Again, he's like a grumpy fuck. He kinda like grumbles. And then. <clears throat> shake. Clears his throat and he says. <clears throat> yes, uh. Kremit, so uh. We will brief you once the outsiders have left on your next and first operation. And uh, he looks to you and he says, Just so you know, uh, we will be sending the scouting party into the warrens to the west. They are to scout the area where the were rats have resided for some time and find out whether the ooze outbreaks are coming from them or not. Either way, we have to get a lay of the land if we are to strike. And then, you know, Sani calls up and she's like, uh, Dorbo, this is a mistake. We can't just kill them. We have to try and talk to them first. And then uh, she says, how does it make sense that they can control the oozes? And he says, They're scheming vermin. You don't know what they're capable of. We have to make sure. And then, when we do, they'll be dead. And, um... She says... <clears throat> what if the ooze is an external threat? Perhaps we could... And then he cuts her off. He says... 
I'll hear no more. First, we're scouting it out. And he says, uh... Anyways, we must bring up the plans again and get to it. And looks at the rest of you and says, I suppose you'll be taking your leave now and heading for the boon. Yes, uh... I have a request. There is a safe passage to the overworlds from here, yes? Yes, there is a safe passage to surface, and we have people uh, who know the way. Can you arrange an escort for my son to get up there safely? He says... Make a persuasion check. He says, um... <laughs> your son take the dangerous way. I am <laughs> grateful for your help with the blade. And I hope you appreciate that you are compensated fairly. And we are on the road to reclamation. However, until we have dealt with this threat of ours, our neighbours, I cannot spare the men to guide you. Once this is dealt with, I guarantee passage to the surface. I give you my word. Thank you. Okay. Don't worry, boys, now. I'll bring your son to the light. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> One way or another. Okay. We'll make it there. That sounds creepy as hell. <laughs> I think that's what you're going for, though. Yes, so, I'm going for the life. <laughs> you don't know that. <laughs> Do we take a day's rest and then on to find the boom? I think that's a wise choice. Grant. Agreed. Do to hey guys, do you like my armor? Yes, very nice. <laughs> oh. I okay, see they have rewarded your bravery. It's very good. I see they have rewarded your bravery with the bravest of all jobs, the scout. Yes. The scouts, I, scouts of my tribe are great warriors. I have very good eyes. I am a good scout. And you can see his eyes are literally in opposite directions. <laughs> oh, I, am, I am aware that no one will attack you from the sides. It's a good strategy to have. Yes, the little red people are sneaks, so I have to keep good eyes out. Watch out for those guys. If they bite you, you turn into one. Oh, I turn into a rat. That does not sound cute. Probably not, no. <laughs> I, I ask her, Kremit, and I'm like, what kind of people are the rat people? Are the actual giant rat people, or do are they people that just suffer from rat thumb per day? I have never seen nymphs. And Dorbo kind of says, he just literally just says, they're scum. That's all they are. Vermin. Overgrown rats. They're feral. They attack our people. And scrounge for food. They deserve no more. No less than death. I mean, Graham is like, well, take can I... the boss man says. I will do can the I... stabbings. Remember, Graham, as a scout, you're not to fight too much. You're to look and see. And bring back information. The okey doke. Can I insight check? And he says, What's her name? as you can see, his like uh, subordinates that are with him. They look. <laughs> you don't need to insight. You can tell they're kind of green. They look maybe like new. Like tr almost just out of uh, training, type thing. Uh, you can see uh, with a good eye. Who's got like good eyes here for this kind of stuff? Me. <laughs> I was uh, about to say. People who pay attention to like weapons and stuff, I'd say probably Isha, Garv. Yeah, that's probably about it. You guys make a make an intelligence check. Oh, oh. Like oh, oh no. Grab <laughs> <laughs> have some nice weapon. Oh yeah. Oh okay. That was not three. That was Isha. Like oh damn. I... Yeah, Isha. Yeah, you Garv. You're just like damn. Kremit's a warrior. <laughs> He's just standing there, like, <laughs> almost imagining and, uh, drool, like, slowly trickling down his cheek, like, the side of his mouth. And then he just goes, sips it back up. 
Oh, it's disgusting. Uh, <laughs> but you know, as each other, you know, you're, you're, you're into your weapons and stuff. Uh, you, yeah, well, Krem has like nicely sharpened, polished equipment. You can see his four uh, subordinates, the, the trainees. You can tell they're probably, yeah, they're definitely trainees or green. They're just out of training. Uh, their weapons are pretty me like they, they meager they don't look good uh their armor isn't fastened in properly uh like they're wearing sort of uh, leathers uh Krem has studied leathers he's he's a he's got some better equipment and a helmet uh but yeah you can tell these guys are rookies at best but Krem is leading them and they're definitely following oh well i'll be fine I have faith in Kremit. Yeah. <laughs> and he says, uh, Are you leaving the blind instance? Temporarily, yes. We'll be back. Oh, cute. You guys are helping out, I hear. Yeah, well, you know, good to be useful. Then maybe you could stay here forever. No. Uh. <laughs> Probably not. Most likely not. Places to be, people to see. To and you it's just hear Dorbo like, you. Yes, exactly. And <laughs> you guys will have time to catch up late at a later point. Right now, we have important things to discuss. As he like stares directly at Krem and he just kind of blinks a couple of times. <laughs> One well, time. Blink, well, I'm sure. Alright, should we go? Yes. A and then as you're about to leave, he grabs... Hmm. Who's who'd be sitting like closest to door? Would you think? I think it'd either be myself or Bosner. Yeah, I was imagining Bosner kind of in the middle, Ipkis sort of door was said, and then uh, like sort of Isha Garwan saying he said. But yeah, like as you're about to get up, he grabs your wrist, Ipkis, and pulls you in a bit, and says, uh, "You're sure about grab it." <laughs> He's always oh. been a buff buffoon. Well, in any case, he's a buffoon who can fight. He's brave. That's what you need. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! He just, he just nods and lets, lets you go. And uh, you guys start leaving, and then you see the advisors. They, you hear like them roll out the parchment, and you hear four, like, uh, clank noises as they put sort of stone pieces onto the stone table and uh, they start discussing as you guys begin to leave the Dagger Metox Hall. To the pub. Oh, I want to get someone to buy this shiny rock off me. The one I found. Oh, yeah, it's not to the pub. Okay, so where would you like to go? I want to sell my new silk dress. Yeah, later. <laughs> We shall go to the see some stone hearts, see if we can find Yanta. Oh yeah, the ruby in the rough. You give them that core. Or Nomi Path Shatter. Another stone heart. Uh cool, so you guys go back to the ruby. Indeed. Sure. Yep. As you go back, um it look well you walk past uh, the usual and you actually end up walking past that area where you saw before it was a clanking. Uh you can see now. Uh, sort of stopping for a second, having a good look. It looks like some kind of forge or uh, smithy area, where there's a bunch of like blacksmiths. Um, which you didn't notice when you first arrived. It looks like it might just have been up and running. Uh, so as you head towards the ruby in the rough, yeah, you get there. There is only a few uh, Stoneheart folks, and no sign of Yantha. Uh, appears to be all males at the moment, and the three of them are still uh, kind of arranging pieces together and uh, patching up stone, stonework. And no sign of Gurnik, the Gurnik e either. It's just these three uh, Stoneheart folks. Hmm. Mm. Shall Why do we need Yanta? To give her the big rock. To give her the core, come on! We didn't just rip it out and keep it in our pockets for our own needs. 
Yeah, I don't know if it's useful to us. But I don't think that they can use it again either. We can see it tomorrow. It's obviously a bit late. You know, but... I don't think it was too much to see, but to like, see if there's any sort of magical differences to it. Yeah. Or to see exactly how, or analyze exactly how the boon to control. The boon? The bane. Boon and bane's are confusing me. <laughs> My brain is still recovering from being turned to stone. Go to the pub? Yes, please. Alright, so you guys uh, head over to the foaming mug. Let's have a look here. Do, do, do. So, yeah. so you basically double back past uh, the old Dagger Matox hall and through the winding tunnels and caves, which um, lead you eventually. Uh, you actually walk past the new area. Uh, you get kind, mm, yeah, you get a little bit lost, but nothing that's too big of a deal. And you actually end up walking past. Uh, let's see here. Where is it? Do do do. Interplay this stone. Nope. Nope. That's not it. Where is it? Oh yeah, here we are. So you end up uh, walking through these tunnels and you guys kind of have little arguments like, no, it's this way, I remember. And you're like, no. And you guys like, wind away. But you go in the same general direction. You know it's uh, kind of like the south, southeast part of the city. Well, if you can call it that, settlement. And you actually walk by into a cavern where you see there's an elevated area near... Well, like within the residential area which you're currently walking through to get to the inn uh, which currently is caverns holding uh, rocks and crystals in the middle of it where there's a bowl shaped floor and uh, you can hear some strange uh, vibrations and pitches and almost like songs uh, kind of like wind chimey type things uh, coming off of the stones in the bowl and when you come you see there's uh, as you walk by and look down in the bowl you can see there appears to be some uh, deep gnome character uh, with a bunch of children about seven or eight children all sat down listening to uh, this particular deep gnome um, playing the crystals like instruments like tapping on them with these uh, sort of bat baton like things and it's causing these like different pitches and it's kind of like the wind glass type deal if you know what I'm talking about mm -hmm. but you walk by that and um at that point you're kind of mesmerized for a few seconds but then a couple of you who are leading the way snap back to it and you're like oh yeah, remember it's this way down this tunnel and you head down and eventually you do get to the foaming mug uh, what looks like the end of the line in this residential area at the end of these cavern, these tunnels is this uh, semi-circular huge cavern with all caves uh, entrances and like I said before the cowboy saloon-esque uh, doors leading into the foaming muck so you head in and you see yeah. there Tappy who is currently in the process of uh, giving the floors a bit of a mop. What a good barkeep he is, maintaining his own inn. Very tappy. And he looks up and he's like, Oh, oh, he's like, Oh, more adventures then? Or am I going to hear all about it? Aye, aye. Tomorrow, or someone else can go to bed. But I'll brew before I go, be grand. Yeah. So yeah, he'll uh, he'll get you guys anything you need. Um, where's the lad? Your lad. He doesn't seem to be present. I asked Happy. <clears throat> where's the lad? Don't. I don't know. He's probably around. Okay. Check the room. I'll check his room. Um. Okay. So you <laughs> head on. You head on up the stairs. 
And uh, yeah, dude. I just bang a door and say, "All right, you're in there. Get your hands off your cell." And <laughs> oh, uh, no answer. Yeah. <clears throat> He's not home. <clears throat> He's not here, eh? You lost your son again. again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Did you give him much gold before we left? I gave him much gold, eh? Hmm. Maybe he's, maybe he's out then. Oh well, fuck it. <laughs> out on the town. <laughs> yeah. I have a beer. I go to the town. I down the beer. <coughs> Alright. See, you guys are keen to level up. Uh, sure. I mean, you guys will have to hang around for a bit just because. Uh, yeah, I wanted to sit down and just tell him all the story about the Medusa and the Magic. Yeah, yeah, he'll, he'll come and he'll give you free drinks for the, the tale. Yeah. One D and D, please. Yeah, yeah. Like embellish, huge, huge embellish a bit, and like none of us got turned into stone. Sure, give him a give him a performance. Just defeated the Medusa because we are superheroes and yeah, yeah, etc. Et give me a performance. And then the magical that. fight was <laughs> inside the cage. <laughs> I mean, she's probably the best one to tell the story because she didn't do oh, anything. Boy. Oh, <laughs> you're, tr you're really trying to sell it, and uh, you can see him. Losing. And then I, I, I take a, like a swirl with my new dress. Uh -oh. See what I go oh. from the Medusa, and then I take a, a, a turn and I, and I show how the dress flows around. He says, "Monsters wear dresses." Eh? Well, I, I'm pretty sure Ballad she was spots. like a, a, a high priestess. Jordan. Yeah. Can I re-roll a one on a hit dice? Nope. Oh wait, oh. for your for your hit points. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can re-roll once for that. That's fine. Let's try this again. Yeah. Two. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Ones are feels bad to man. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hmm, <laughs> they'll let you re-roll that one. I don't know. Hey. I was gonna say if it's a one oh. this time, I'm just fucking taking it. Alright, there you go. <laughs> Six it is. Uh yeah, yeah. Seven. He, he Tappy. Right, he gets you one drink, but then after, like, when you're telling the stories, you're drinking it, uh, your milk or whatever it is you have, he starts losing interest, and, uh, like, before you finish, he says, uh, uh, and who else is there? Do we still have the head? I'm or still the there, head yeah. The I'm still there. The heads are, I think we left the head. He says, oh, oh, uh, well, I haven't heard you guys, uh, say the story. Oh. I found this rock, I want to sell it to someone. And I like show him the shiny rock I got from the deep gnome that was stoned inside the Medusa's den. Oh, yeah. Oof. Oof. He says, uh. I just that, gonna... That'll go for a, a good price over the bazaar. How good are we talking? Oh, I'm no merchant, so I can tell you. And I, I, I like lean on the table, I'm like, Tappy, if you were going to buy this gem off me, how much would you pay? Be honest. Uh, I mean, it has no value to me. But, Chappy, I am asking you, in all your infinite wisdom, he said, well, this story to pretend. It doesn't <laughs> sound too good. That's because Adara told the story. I'm all about the story behind the object, more than the object. Well, the story of that object, I think it came from an earth elemental, did it not? No, that, no, that one was the I one that the, the statue was holding. And the one that the statue held. Oh, right, okay. Oh, who's, who's got one of the earth elemental? Me. Oh. <laughs> I, I am, the, I am Gar, the rock you. keeper Magmus. <laughs> Damn. Uh, he says, ah, I don't know. Yeah, an earth elemental, uh, it's got some scratches on it. I don't care about their elemental one, Tappy. I want to know about the nice, pretty one I got from the dev deep dome. Oh, he, he's looking at me. <laughs> uh, I thought you were showing him the air filament one. Uh, so this That's is a small one that, you know, fits in your hand. Um, he's looking at it. And he's like, ah, I don't know, it's kind of nice. I'd give you, like, a good 20 gold for that. <laughs> I feel like you're trying to rip me off. I think I'll go to the bazaar tomorrow. He says, I don't want to buy it. You, but you forced me to give you a price. 
I don't want it. He says, you just found it. Like, what? I mean, I didn't just found it. I had to prize it away from a stone. Deep. No, you literally just found it and broke someone's thumb. Oh, yeah. A statue's thumb. Wait, what? How do you know that was a person? You don't know that. You don't go around desecrating religious statues, did you? Oh. Um, religious. Eh. <laughs> oh, what, are you praying to my daughters? That's my people you're talking about. Have you um, heard of that? No, the other statue. That was your. That was the other statues. You don't get anything from them. It was worthless. Yeah. Oh. While they are talking to him, sure. is there any sign of green in the tavern? Oh yeah, he's uh, now that you have a look for him, he's uh, stealthed away in a dark corner. Strider. What is he doing? <laughs> what he's always doing, watching you guys. <laughs> and uh, pretending to thumb through a book. Do I see what kind of book? No. Is it the same kind I closed in my face last time? Hard to see. Make a perception check at disadvantage. So I guess, I guess normal. Straight yeah. roll. Yeah. Oh fuck. Nice. Yeah. Uh, a bit of the glare of the gem like reflects into your eye. And, ah, kind of fucks up with your eyesight for a moment. You don't get a good look. Okay. I keep an eye on him. Yeah. As he Not is obviously. intently watching you guys. Not obviously, but. Yeah. I want to be aware of what it does. And you know, he's in his pale elf form. He's not, obviously. Driving it up around these parts. Yeah. What's wrong with that? Mm. I don't know. Mm, I don't know. So, yeah. Wait, what was going on? We Someone should probably met a game and tell you to talk to him about the. Uh. <laughs> the <laughs> spoon. Who? Meta game and pigeon. Who? <laughs> Well, was he not the uh, alchemist that wanted us to go to Antimos Boon? It was pretty much everyone that did. No, it was, um, especially for the mushroom. No, he wanted us to go because that's where the the tin masks are, the area. No. No, we're doing We we're get, doing we this get something get, like, for the alchemist, and then the alchemist tell us where the Yeah. The masks Buster comes are. back down for a second paint. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys discuss this. <laughs> No, no, it's fine, I just, this is out again. Yeah, I know. I'm just fucking with you. It comes to Bosnia in a dream. <laughs> <laughs> the mushrooms. Yeah, you're like, wait, <laughs> mushrooms. I need some of your mushrooms. I've still got three of those small ones. Two of those small ones. Three big ones. Okay, well, when, when it's getting a bit later, I'm starting to head up to bed. Yeah, yeah. Is there anything else you guys want to do? Uh, I'll say... Yeah, he he didn't because of even your bad telling of the stories and stuff. He let you guys have a round on the house. I'll have another drink. Sure, just a. Uh, has uh, has Steppy heard of the just a silver surface? The service. What? The surface. Surface. Uh, do you ask him? Yes. Okay. If you want stories. What, what do you ask? Oh, what do you say? <laughs> <laughs> One more D&D tapping And I have yeah. Some stories for you Have you heard of the Surface world? Have you been there? As he pour, like, Sort of mixes it up It's basically like a It's a milkshake essentially It's just to mix it all up and stuff And as he's doing it he's like Surface uh, I've heard of it of course I've never been He says uh our skin does it take too kingly to the sun? Oh, did it burn? Yes, and he's kind of looking, staring at you. <laughs> like his eyes narrow on you. And he says, Have you never been? I mean, not yet. But I'm planning on being there. Soon. Uh, who else is down there? Me. He's looking at you like, uh, Make an insight check. <laughs> Where is it? Fuck. Yeah, you can tell he's looking at you like, uh, does he know? <laughs> <laughs> what 
Well, the thing is with Isha, he's quite focused on going to the surface. I think what he will be going off is mainly stories that he's heard. He says, uh, well, far be it from me to, uh, to stifle any enthusiasm. Uh, that's his business, I guess. Oh, no, trust me, you could not stifle it if you tried. It's not just I, stories. Alistair showed me the way. <laughs> she showed me the beauty of the city. As he starts mentioning Illustrate, uh, yeah, I'm like, Garf just, Garf just, like, just kind of goes, I'm retiring for the night. <laughs> I'm just going to sigh and just go, uh... As you start walking, he, he, he says, I don't know, where are you going? He's kind of like, shit. Slam down the hand on the table. We'll take back the surface. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. He's like... <laughs> oh. <laughs> His eyes kind of go a bit wide. He's like, we? Yes, of course. And you, me, take it Abkiss. back. Me? Oh, I won't be taking anything from anyone. Especially not well, by we... force. Not, not by force. We are from the surface. We're just going home. I'm definitely not from the surface, Fred. <laughs> we are from the surface. Don't, don't let your skin choose your path. Well, you choose he... your destiny. <laughs> he says. The old tale of the Deep Gnomes is we're actually born from rubies, from underground. So I don't think we are from the surface. That's the that's an, that's old folklore, but you know, some people believe it. I believe this is the truth. It must be. Well, I'm not gonna challenge your faith. Uh, I don't like discussing religion very much. C can get heated. Yeah, that makes two of us. Not with me. I'm all joy and sparks. And lunacy. <laughs> um. Yeah, awkward silence ensues. I'm just gonna take a sip. <laughs> yeah. He says, uh. So, uh, what's the plan anyway? Uh, um, going to bed. <laughs> For now, yeah. He says Tomorrow, it's... just exploring, scouting. Seems like you had an easy time in Rock Blight. Quite surprised. <laughs> yeah, we did have a fairly stressful oh, experience in Rock Blight. <laughs> <laughs> he says, oh, I mean, of certain <clears throat> company. I guess that could be the case. I'm just gonna look, it's like, I look at it, you like, yeah. Hmm? <laughs> One can assume that. Uh, but, um, yeah, he, he's like, well, uh, will you be lodging here for much longer? A few more days? I think, I think at least a few more days, yeah. It'll be another gold for me to you for the night. Oh, that's fine. We'll be here. Do you mean right now? Or? Well, preferably before you leave. Oh, yeah, definitely. We'll be definitely before you leave. Let's we'll say I I'll get Add him the the before I go upstairs. Uh, okay. So, yeah, it's just one gold per night. And, uh, that's it. And, uh, yeah, do you guys want to do anything else in here? I'm snowing loudly. I hear you downstairs. Yeah. Not worried at all that he lost his son again. <laughs> uh. Finding crew. Oh, too. God. <laughs> God doesn't want to do anything. Aye. The rest of you don't, who are actually, like, in the. the Bar part. I was gonna finish my bit. Um, drink, go to bed. Sure. All right. You guys all retire for the night eventually, or day. You're not really sure, but um, yeah. You guys, if you've leveled up, you leveled up. If you haven't rolled hit points, you can roll hit points. Hey. Is it half your hit that you should get back? Uh, yeah. half. Wait, wait. It might be half of your level 
or some shit like that. Yeah, so it should Either be way. Yeah. Or it's some, it may be something weird. Let me just double check on my thingy. Alright, okay. cool. Uh, conditions, mechanics. Where's resting? Do I have it? Hey, 10 hit points. Shit, crafting. No. Alright. Okie doke. Um. It's in the compendium, I'm sure. Or just in that. Bear with. Long rest. At long rest, the character gains all hit points. You also gain spent hit dice up to the number equal to half of your total uh, minimum one die. Yeah, you get half of them back. Yeah, cool. Half Are we rounding down? Uh, we generally round up. Right? No, we always run no, down. down. Yeah, we always run yeah. down. It's your question. Yeah, you got me. <coughs> you got me good. So you guys uh got rolled your hit points and stuff? Uh Yep. Yarp. I have hundred and twelve. Woo. Uh, We're doing And my new passive perception is twenty. Fuck oh, off, no way. Yes. She's holding that. <laughs> my proficiency, my proficiency <laughs> bonus went up to five, so my passive perception is twenty now. You only have twelve. No, well, she's thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. <laughs> you only have thirteen. Yeah. Stop fucking yeah. dying. And getting punishments. <laughs> well, I will. You should try it sometime. It's fun. <laughs> I, I got a few stats, but wisdom was quite good. And now my wisdom is maxed, so. <clears throat> Noise. So you guys will uh, uh, come down in the quote unquote morning. Uh, those of you who go down first see Grin is not around. However, Kriv is at the bar and doing what appears to be eating a load of shit, basically. Uh, if you imagine what a full English but replaced like bangers and shit with mushrooms <laughs> and stuff. <laughs> and literal shit. Yeah, and <laughs> literal, literal shit. Yeah, it's like steamed mushroom and stuff. Uh, but mm. he. On, before I'm coming down and seeing him, he uh, looks pretty wasted, so it doesn't look like he cares. This is like his kebab at the end of the night, <laughs> it looks like. <laughs> so he's uh, yeah, munching away and kind of swaying and, and not saying much. Like Taffy's kind of like keeping his distance. But you guys all eventually like uh, convene down in the main area eventually, down the stairs. But Grin is nowhere to be seen. That's a shame. I was going to fix him. Uh, should we go? I guess so. Why did there? He is. Yeah. Yes. Great. Oh, I have one level seven spell now. Ooh. Pog. Yeah, level seven is kick ass, like. Uh, um, same. I oh, take wait. my shield back. I <laughs> say so you're not in this anymore, are you? I take it back. Oh, are you oh, talking? Oh, sorry, you're talking to Kriv. Yeah, yeah. I just say it was like he literally listen. doesn't flinch. Like as you're talking at, you're like talking at him, and he's just swaying and slowly <laughs> missing his mouth <laughs> with food. The fuck? And eventually, he, like gets it in and bites down, and it's like messy, dude. It's getting all in his beard and stuff. The fuck is wrong with him? That doesn't check. Ah, uh, yeah. Go ahead. It's, it's the under, right? So you like Oof. open his eyes and shine a wee torch in it and stuff and check him Yeah, we cast light on a wee like off my hand and... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> Shove it up in his face uh, <laughs> I mean, he looks wasted, he looks like he's on something uh, You're not sure what, you're not sure if it's just alcohol? That's a good check 
It's probably something else as well. <laughs> it looks yeah, like he yeah. might have procured <laughs> something special. Oh, what a waste of a cunt. <laughs> His eyes are like fully dilated. So you're like... Oh, that's not what you think. <laughs> They gave it to me, I did the take And as you're like annoying <laughs> him with your check, he kinda just grunts and pushes you away. And he he, Jesus he just looks at you and says Uh I didn't think any served apes here. <laughs> he's kinda yeah, like squinting and slowly missing his mouth with the next bit of food as he's looking at you. Oh god. Hmm. Oh, and then he fucking, oh, no. he's not Moz, or uh, Kriv, he breaks out, and he's a demon, and he murders you. Oh. The Demogorgon, fuck. I should have spotted that with my SG. <laughs> That's why he wasn't looking cool, shit. Uh, 20 minutes and your son is a fucking demon. I don't know how to fucking deal with this shit right now. <laughs> uh, right, right, he, he says, whoa, that ape's talking. Who would you call you ape dwarf? I give him some water, and I go over and say, "Here, drink this." Uh, he starts drinking. I, I help him drink it. I help yeah, him yeah. Drink yeah. It. He, okay. you can see, he looks like he's about to spill it, and he, hmm, it's in a mug probably. All right, so you like you put it up to his mouth, and he starts drinking it. He's like, <coughs> coughing it up and spinning. He says, you "Try to kill me. You try to poison me." You're trying to kill you. you Oh, he's talking again. The fuck? <laughs> There's Taffy there. Taffy's like at the other side of the bar. He's hey, having none of it. Taffy, come here for a minute. Uh, it's, it's none of my business. What is it? Have you seen it before? Uh, a, a dwarf? <laughs> sure. No, whatever he's been fucking taken. <laughs> it's not just alcohol, unless you're serving some strange alcohol. Oh, I'm not even uh, serving them. Yeah. I mean, I was if, if business wasn't so slow, uh, and you know, you Did guys. Did you sell them this? <laughs> well, uh, what? Insight check. Yeah, <laughs> sell them what? <laughs> uh, all right, insight. Go ahead. I mean, it's a meme. <laughs> oh yeah. I love this plus nine. That's pretty handy. Jesus. Plus nine medicine and insight. Making use of medicine. The fuck? Is this the same party? <laughs> I've done that at least once before. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I've analyzed some of my heat. You can tell... Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> you can tell... He probably uh, what what, can, what the fuck can I tell you here? He you don't think he sold them anything like drugs, yeah. but you can tell he might know something. He looks like he looks uh like he doesn't want to be involved. He's just like kind of yeah. staying away, and he's just like oh, leaving him to it type of deal. But you don't get the inclination he sold them anything weird. You don't oh, think Tappy's God. that irresponsible. He seems like quite a reserved guy-ish. Fair enough. Um, Jordan. Uh -huh. Where I go downstairs, I want to cast Speak with Animal as a ritual. Okay. And I want to speak with my owl. Oh fuck, now I need a voice for the owl. Alright. <laughs> God damn. Uh -huh. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> it's a <laughs> Hello, I am the owl. It's <laughs> 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 probably the same IQ points as well, so it's fine. Oh. Oh, no, the voice of the owl should always be of the last person you speak to, the last NPC. <laughs> no, it should just be that, because then she'll never want to speak to it. <laughs> Damn, that's a good, that's a strat. Here we go. Alright, uh, so you can't speak with animals, and uh, what do you say to your owl? Well, I've got a couple of simple questions, like... <laughs> Where did trust... you come from? <laughs> no, if it does trust the others. <gasps> the other owl? Yeah. 
Mm. You both been watching us? I just. Okay, fuck. I'm really thinking hard about how to go out about this. Spe an animal. I don't think I've done an animal before. Alright. It Are says. <laughs> well. Ah, jeez. I don't like them. <laughs> uh, no. It's, it says, uh. No trust. Nope. What do you think about Epcase? Uh. Hmm. Smash. Smash. <laughs> 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 smash. <laughs> smash. <laughs> uh. It says. <clears throat> hmm. Epcase. I'm gonna make a roll for it. Why not? Oh shit. Uh, it says. <laughs> like you, he's okay. Mm. <laughs> he looks a bit weird to me. <laughs> he's got. Like you. A weird way of behaving. Um. Ah, uh, yes, that would be the autism. You, you can. <laughs> that's uh, no matter to you. Uh, Your second opinion on that. It's straight in with the harsh truth. <laughs> Your evil, otherwise known as shade. Uh, it's it throwing mean, shade. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it, it just says. Uh, he's okay. Okay, but I want to ask you a favor. Especially when we're resting. Keep an eye on them. Okay, one eye. Oh, for fuck's sake. Keep watch on him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I always watch. Good, good boy. And I'll pat him on the head. He's gonna die from Steve. Ow, operation. too hard. Too hard. Okay, well, gently. It's not like I'm bouncing <laughs> him like a ball. Yeah. I wish to pet the owl. Let's <laughs> <laughs> pet the owl a euphemism for something. <laughs> oh, wow. somebody from the RSPC. Uh, yeah, okay, so then you join the rest. Uh, how yeah. long does it speak with animals last? Or do you, is it just like. Uh, thing. Let me check. As you know, to everyone else, oh. it just sounds like. <laughs> yeah, ten, 10 minutes. Okay. Yeah, oh, so I mean, this is going on. Yep. I'm fucking dwarf handling the little arsehole up to his room. Oh, uh, he's he's like, uh, he's like shaking his shoulders. Yeah, but he can hardly get stuff from his fucking mouth, so. Uh, <laughs> yeah. He's probably like, you're, like you're not my real dog. You're an ape. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> he's he's like, uh, bark it, uh, get the ape. He's touching me. <laughs> and tap. He's literally not even making eye contact. Just. Pretending to clean a mug, head down, uh, to ma handle him. Uh, yeah, sure, go ahead and make a, <laughs> make, a animal handling check. <laughs> <laughs> make a strength check with advantage because he's uh, gone. He's a fucking <laughs> snake. Yeah. A bitchy boy. Uh, athletic strength, straight strength. Just strength. Oh, just be strength. Roll for strength. Yikes. Oh, what? Oh, fuck's sake. Ooh, okay. Uh, it appears you're not sure if ah. it's the drugs. No, hold on. But, Jesus Christ, he's, uh, he's he's resistant. He's like a, you know when like toddlers just like go dead weight yeah. and you just can't move him. That's what he's <laughs> like. Floppy. Yeah. yeah. Take him to the PS. the stairs in the way. A yeah. PCP, sorry. Knock him out. Thinking about it. I mean, he's almost there. <laughs> <laughs> Gar Garv, take Hang control on, of the situation. Second. No, I've got my staff. I'm gonna use command. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> sure. I'm, trying, I'm looking at the fucking spell because it's a hyperlink. Hang on. Wait, do I not actually have command? What the fuck? Give me a fucking second here. The I do. Spells. Your spell's a hyperlink. <laughs> no, it's, it's on my staff. <laughs> oh, right. Uh, is that a hyperlink oh, no. to the compendium or something? Uh, no, a hyperlink to dndbeyond.com. Ooh. But then I, re I realised I actually have command in my spell list. Mm, that works. Um. 
Target must exceed. I'll just fucking put it in chat. Mm -hmm. Charisma save? I'd guess. Uh, with the Demon Crow. Okay. Got to be a zero at this point. Um, it's. Wait, what, what level does the be staff zero. cast at? He is okay with it. Uh, I mean, it, it, didn't, it doesn't say. Uh, he probably makes it. Oh, against my spell save DC. Actually, hang on. Uh, I'll probably. Yeah, it is. He makes it. I'd give him disadvantage because he's like wrecked. No, no, because he doesn't make it then. Yeah. So you get to do what? One word command. Oh. Yeah, yeah. The command's one word, and he has to comply. And there's like preset words, but you can make your own. But it has to be one word. <laughs> Choose your word wisely. Um, Should have done the word first before I rolled, but that's my bad. Oh shit! Sure. Okay, hang on. Oh, if there's one word I need to get him to go to sleep, then I just look at him and I say, "Bed." <laughs> uh. <laughs> All right. He uh. The voice of you saying "bed" uh, rings with a deep resonance into his ears, and he just drops the piece of food that's in his hand and uh turns looks at you and you can see like he's convulsing a bit like you're like what the fuck and a bit of vomit just like streams down his beard and then he like slumps over and falls to the ground and then starts like crawling on all fours towards the stairs hmm <laughs> All right. Once in his room, I uh, yeah. Yeah, you can help him because <laughs> he's not gonna. Yeah. He's gonna be there a while. <laughs> no, I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna help him. I'm just gonna fucking lock him in there. <laughs> all right. So you wait till he crawls all the way up the stairs and he slides down them a few times, uh, but eventually gets into the room and you just shut it behind him. I say to Tappy, it's like keep him in that fucking room until we get back. Yeah. I'll pay extra. Uh, I can't lock guests in the room. Can't, can't one of you look after him? We're going out. Yeah, we need fucking uh, uh, <laughs> This isn't a daycare service, I'm afraid. I'll pay you ten gold. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I hand him ten gold. Alright. He's not there when I get back. I will be annoyed. Alright, he you can see he turns to uh behind him and takes the key off the uh, hook and makes his way towards the stairs and as you stand there you hear like a clink and he walks back down with the key and he says okay I'll put some water in there as well yeah, I'm yeah gonna I'll, beat him later I'll, 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 check, I'll check up on him yeah. sure alright we're gonna come back and he's gonna be vomiting and choking on him Ah, one <laughs> second, and then he goes up, <laughs> and you hear clink. He opens the door, and you hear like a little <laughs> recovery position. <laughs> and then he comes back out, clink, and then steps down the stairs. He says, "You can see there's like a bead of sweat on his forehead." And he kind of wipes it away. And he says, "All right, you should be fine." Cool. Cheers. Uh, well, what about when he comes to? Uh, I don't think he'd be very happy about being locked up. Just calmly explain to him that he's there because he was an idiot, and he'll get out when I get back. Uh, uh, okay. I just kind of look at Boz and I was like, calmly explain. Can Are you sure that will work? I'll write something down for him. Slip it beneath the door. I would do that. Yeah. I'll write something down for him. What do you write? You're such a fucking idiot. Well, Love he's that. taking weird stuff. I obviously can't trust you. You're staying here till we get back. If you break out of here, I'm gonna kick shit out of you. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> Alright. No bother. You're so close to getting home. Don't get yourself killed just now. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, so you slip the parchment under his door. No, I'll give it to you. Tappy. Alright. So when he wakes up, slip him this. Okay, okay. Yeah, he takes it. He says, okay. Got it. His reply, you're not my real dad. God, you're not my real dad. Um, so, what do you guys do? Uh, yes, we start heading to the out bazaar. to Antimox point. 
Yes. No, we're gonna we're gonna go see the Stoneheart. Oh yeah, we need to go speak to Yantho. Uh-huh. Yeah, since we think it's roughly daytime now, or you know, work, work time or whatever. Yeah. Work time. One can assume. Okay, so you guys uh, head on out to the Ruby and the Rough. Uh, you find a no bother. Takes you about Ooh, an hour's travel, an hour's walk. Fairly big place, and uh, you get there, and um, indeed it is busy, and Yantha is again seems to be stressing out. Directing these idiots. And, uh. Atara, you notice as well, in the doorway of the catacombs is old Jaeger just chilling, keeping an eye out. As a ghost. <laughs> and that's that's way in the back, though, on the other side of the, the cave. But, uh, yeah, you guys see Yampha and you approach, and uh, she eventually sees you. I says, oh, it's you lot. When'd you get back? Last night. Alright, and did you bring me a little present? Maybe. Oh, come on, let's see it. Carve. Do the thing. Do the white thing or do the earth elemental core thing? Yeah, that one. I'll I'll show the earth elemental core. Damn, she literally, what? she's like, damn, that's I a know, big gore. I know, I found it myself. She takes it in two hands and she says, uh, is this is like one of hers. Well, we found an earth elemental and we killed it and then we took its core and then... Oh, must, so. have, must have been there before we got here. Uh, of course, we sent some earth elementals in and... You know, they got possessed by the cloud. Uh, this is different though, but thanks. We'll take it. I'll definitely need to study this and maybe I can get some information. And, uh, it maybe it can help us out. I don't know. We'll see. But no thanks problem. for that. Appreciate it. it. Gives you like a big smile, big grin, and a nod. You're welcome. And she's literally like back. up to your, not even your hips. Just this little deep oh. girl. With her, like, air filamentals always behind her, though. And I, I smile back to her, like, you're welcome. And she says, so, what's next? You guys off? To the boon. Uh, yeah. the boon? The boon? The box boon, yes. Uh, you going to look for it? Yeah. yeah. Or you did say you needed a piece from there, right? Ah, we found a person to tell us what it is. Oh. Oh, wait. Can you trust them? This is one of ours? Um. I swear, if one of those little shits knows <laughs> where it is and they never told me this whole time. Uh. And I've she's like looking at her, she's looking around one. at her little subordinates. <laughs> like. It wasn't one of yours. Growling at them. No, no. You know, anyway. It wasn't one of yours. It wait, was the wait, 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 wait. There aren't people living in rock play, are there? There can't be. Not living. The no, wizards. Wizards. No. Well, ignore not him. Technically living, but a sentient spirit. Uh, I'd be careful <laughs> with the uh, trust in uh, spirits around here. Well, especially in rock play. Let's say we did a favor for him and, you know, I scratch your back, you scratch my back, that kind of deal. What could a spirit possibly... Never mind. Uh, I, I wish you the best and uh, don't get yourselves killed there. I'm kind of liking you guys. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> Famous last one. It says, uh, and Bosner, look after these lot. Yeah, I'll try. I mean, I've already, I've already turned all of them, every single one of them, back from being a fucking statue when we, ki we had to kill them. Listen, oh. listen, listen, we don't need to go into too many details about all of that. You all got turned to stone. <laughs> you say turned to stone, I say turn stone. some kind of grey material that may or may not be stone. Gareth nearly fucking shattered when he fell over. I what? 
I I oh, want. You'd be fine. When you were stoned. Wow, sounds like Why? the Medusa really let you have it. Yeah, she was pretty tough. Bruh. No comment. I fell over. Yeah. Uh, she says, "Well, that's good Why to know." Why did nobody catch me? Especially considering uh, and then she kind of like stops herself and then looks at you both and, and puts a hand up and says what happened to the others which ones there was like this weird engine thing that killed two of them there was a beholder that killed two of them <laughs> a... yeah I killed of myself killed by a... themselves but trying to do some <laughs> magic way beyond their capabilities involuntary um... suicide <laughs> uh, so, uh, Did well, a no, I don't mean to scream at you. <laughs> Doesn't sound like they were a bright lot. Uh, I hope you guys uh, have got a bit more intelligence about you. I'm sure. I'm, I'm just smiling with a moon on my forehead. <laughs> actually, <yes. laughs> uh, one of them went mad and tried to attack. Uh, that was a long time before you, actually. You wouldn't know that one, doesn't matter. Oh, okay, so there's even more. Uh... I know. Amassing an army, are we? No, they keep dying. <laughs> uh, she just kind of like scratches her head a bit, raises an eyebrow, and she uh, it's gives like a nervous no. smile. No. And, and she's like, well, uh, rumors are Mantle Derif is going to be back, back to normal soon. I'm planning on heading back. So, I'm not sure if I'll be here when you get back. Mm. Be careful over there. Yeah, I can handle myself, usually. That was a one off. Well, put it this way when uh, if the demons attack, run. Whoa, 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 whoa. you're expecting demons over yes, at Mantle Derf? Yeah, possibly. Uh. Make a. Final death. I guess make a persuasion check. You're not technically deceiving, I guess. Persuasion. 8. Oh. Uh, rules advantage. There's a 1. Uh, she says. Ah, you're full of shite. Okay, well, just to let you know, there was a massive demon came out of the dark lake, so. Oh. Yeah, that's it. That's all. Uh, You'll you, you uh, hear about it on your travels, I'm sure. Uh, Go in that direction. Well. He's, he's not lying, by the way. I mean, we've been briefed on what happened in Graggle still by the Daggerman talks. Yeah. But, you know, Mantle well, Derriff's on the other side of the, the lake. Yeah, on the other side of the same lake, though. Mm, true. Okay, maybe I'll give that a bit. Maybe I'll hold <laughs> off on that. If our little plan comes together, then we may be able to banish the demons back to hell, I suppose. Oof. Well, that's but handy. There's every chance that we fuck up, so. Well, that, I mean. You seem kind of prone to that, but you always pull through in the end. <laughs> yeah, just how many of us pull through. <laughs> yeah, that's the... Uh, um, anyway... So many friends have died. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, good luck, good luck, I wish you all the best. And yes, good luck to you as well. Uh, uh, you know, maybe when we're uh, finished here, we can lend, lend a hand or two. We owe it to you, I guess. Cool. Cheers. And she gets back to it. Gets back to ordering everyone around. You can see they were like starting to slack off the longer those conversation was going on. And she kind of catches them in the act. Turns around and starts yelling shit at them. And like... Alright. Gnomish. So. Boom. Shall we? Yeah. Boom. 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 
spoon. All right, so you guys head uh, back to the entrance way. Um, we first came in, and here is the what's this place called again? Boo, boo, boo. Fuck all my notes. Our area. Blip, 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 blip. Yeah. So, ah, uh, yeah, yeah. The reception hall. You come into the reception hall. The main, the main hub, the connecting point. And you see, uh, on the west end where there's large stone gates. Uh, there's heavier guard than there was when you first entered. Sort of around those gates. There only seemed to be one or two kind of keeping an eye on it, but now there appears to be a bit more, about six. And uh, you guys all noticed that. And uh, also adjacent to the, the hub is of course the uh, marketplace, the bazaar. Uh, the trader's grotto as it's actually called. But you bypass that and head to the main entrance. And uh, as you're about to leave, uh, the guards are. You can see the as you approach, they kind of have several faces on. And uh, you approach the gates, and one of them kind of calls out and as um oh leaving so soon. We'll be back. Yeah, we're doing a job for you. And then kind of grumbles. And you can tell these are the ones that fleed from the grotto. And they're mm -hmm. kind of on guard, the gate duty now. So they look up upwards and whistle, and you can see the mechanics opening the gate. And uh, eventually, yeah, they open wide, and you're taken again, escorted through uh, with a couple of the guards uh, through the various tunnels, and then past the maze which you guys not get the secret entrance way uh, to bypass all the defense mechanisms put in place and eventually the front gate which uh, opens up and you see there is an earth elemental currently pulling some uh, some kind of wagon up the slope and then right next to it is big stairs which are actually not bit they're long stairs but they're not very big uh, they're for gnome feet. So, opens up, there's guards everywhere, and you guys walk down and exit Blinding Stone altogether. You're now out into outer Blinding Stone, where there's. What side? Uh, <coughs> the south. You, you exit through the south um, of the city. And, uh, yeah, there's like vague roads which lead off in different directions. You can see, like, there's a wagon uh, sort of coming towards and heading sort of towards the uh, uh, the low. I don't know what you call it. It's kind of like a dumb waiter, but with an air elemental pulling it up. And uh, you can see it's got yeah. You can see it's got some like gems and rocks and stuff in it. But what would you guys like to do? Head north. West. North, back into the, the town. <laughs> no, well, <laughs> west. west. Okay, so you guys, no, you guys are gonna, west. you guys are attempting to navigate towards Anti Monk Spoon, right? Yeah, yeah, where the ghost pointed last time. Sure. Which I would have marked on the map vaguely. Sure. Please. I'll lead the way. Okay. As you. Takes charge. And. Uh, Go ahead, roll your survival check. Arctic coast, desert, forest, mountain, swamp, or the underdark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah just you might wonder why I picked. Just the. Uh, yeah. Um. 13? Okay, uh... Wait a minute, why are you rolling survival? Why isn't Garv doing it? Because he wanted to lead the way. He the light like guides me. Yeah. Okay, sure. He, I mean, he's already rolled at this point. That's fine. Uh, so you... You lead the way and you're like... 
Yeah, like I know the Underdark and stuff. I'll lead the way. Yep. And uh, you guys. That's definitely going west. Uh, there's a couple times where you guys start veering more south, and uh, you guys are kind of a bit skeptical, and then he corrects himself and heads in very different directions from time to time. Uh, even one point you think you're walking in circles and this seems to be taking longer than it should for something that's only a couple miles away at most. Uh, so being out here for a good few hours now, you haven't found it just yet. I will say <coughs> someone needs to... Uh, whilst he's actually tracking it down, someone needs to keep an eye out. Because as you guys know, it is hidden. Uh, I'll try and slide like a bit ahead to see if I can spot anything. Okay. I will. I'm alert to danger. He said, so no he said that there is a ledge which we need to climb to get there. I do like climbing. It's one of my favorite pastimes, don't you know? So if I see anything like that, I'll then tell the rest of the party. Okay. Uh, so you keep, yeah, roll me a perception check. Uh, wow. Wow. Um. You can see it through the bare rock. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with a 13 survival with advantage. Did you got Wallhack? You oh. keep an eye out. Um, you guys are starting to get very impatient with uh, Isha. And Atari, you keep an eye out. And you're about to... <laughs> you're literally taking so long that you're considering resting soon. Uh, like in a, a, a few hours at least and you're like wow I can't believe it but because of Atara's great eyes rather than that she manages to spot um, the ledge eventually uh, you see you know it's the ledge because there appears to be runes um, carved sort of in the insides and it catches your eye you know you've seen a few ledges here and there in the stone which you know don't go very deep it's usually just like random holes you even notice there's something which looks like familiar uh something familiar to the worm writhings a something that looks akin to a purple wormhole tunnel well i've never oh. been there so yeah for the rest of you guys uh so you you, you guys come across a couple of those but eventually, with Adara's keen eyes, you do see a ledge which appears to be the one you're after, considering it's purposefully hidden and there appears to be. Uh, there appears to be leading up the cavern walls very deliberate foot and hand holes, uh, which seem a bit too coincidental to be there, and then on the inner insides. As you peer in, uh, scouting up ahead, there looks to be uh, some kind of runes on the insides, decorating the inner walls. And it just appears to be a tunnel. Quite a narrow tunnel, 10-15 feet wide. Uh, you don't see the end of it. Okay, I'll sit at the beginning of the tunnel mm. while I'm waiting for the others to catch up. And I want to cast the tech magic as a ritual. Okay. I mean, you're not that far ahead. Uh, but you guys. Well, I'll start, so I'm halfway yeah. when they come back. Well, halfway is optimistic, but it doesn't matter in terms of time. They do catch up with you after a minute, and um, you guys see her. You're navigating, Isha, and she's just. You guys are like, oh, we need to think about camping, it's probably soon. And, uh, yeah, you see her sit, perched up on this ledge, ca casting a spell, it looks like. A familiar spell. 
That's hard, huh? What are you doing? She's doing that thing again. A thing where she sits about for 10 minutes. <laughs> I'll be Wait, here for a while. Have you found it? Can you say anything? Come on. I'll answer them after the 10 minutes. Yeah. She is. She doesn't speak to you for... Oh, do you just keep talking at her? Like... No, I'm just going to shake my head and start reading my book. Alright, yeah, you guys... I need to get me one of those. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, so yeah, ten minutes go by and you detect magic takes hold. Whilst the rest of you kind of sit lounging around and... Probably almost setting up camp, but... I would oh, to... have it been known, Jordan, for the record. Guard would be doing push-ups. Is there anything Chest around? Dave. Which is magical. Amazing. Not magical. Uh, you don't see anything within thirty feet, which triggers your magic eyeballs. <laughs> okay, then I suggest we keep moving. Is that ten minutes or an hour? Yeah, ten minutes. Damn, ten minute ritual for a ten minute spell. Shit. Yeah, but I'm not using my spell slots for that. Uh, okay, so you come to the rest of your party are lounging around, wondering what the hell you're doing. And then you come to. Yeah, well, uh, I'll explain. I was trying to detect oh, magic. Since we we're going we in a magical see. place, if I feel the magic, that means we're close. But if you and feel you the magic at a magical place, would you not just be blind because there's so much magic in the magical place? Yeah, but at least I sense it. <laughs> I know we are going in the right direction. If you walk into a red room, do you realize it's red? Can we go? Yes. Yes. Let's go. Okay, so you guys climb up and follow. That's easy enough, you don't have to make a turn. Fog. There, yeah, it's very easy. <laughs> no broken neck today. Yeah, I've seen some natural ones on some simple climbing stuff. So far. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, you guys climb up and follow behind. I will ask for a... Hmm. Let's, let's just get... Let's just, let's just get a march in order. Just, just for no reason. Let's just, just put, uh, pretend you're facing north. Uh, right now, Adara's up front, but you guys can move around. Oh, well, I'm up in the back. I will, I will stand at the front, my four. Because she is weak and brittle. Okay. <laughs> okay, in that case, I'll be at the rear. Okay, cool. Let's put you back. So, you guys begin heading down this tunnel. And down the tunnel. Uh, and ten come minutes. Across something by jumping us. Ten minutes. I will see. <coughs> oh shit. Bless you. Bless you. Uh, whoever is leading the way, make mm -hmm. a perception check. I have the front light. Oh. Uh, oh. your, <laughs> yeah, your advantage is counteracted with the complete yeah. pitch black, but it's a straight roll, and Garv is just like, yeah, <laughs> I don't know, he's it's, daydreaming or something. It's pretty dark. Uh, ten minutes. Uh, okay, so about, yeah, about f five or six minutes of walking goes by. Uh, you're going down this tunnel. It seems to be descending somewhat and uh, at a decent pace eventually Adhara something triggers your magical eyes at the tail end of it and you see uh, sort of about 20 feet up and ahead of you uh, appears to be little magical orbs uh, yeah in the walls I guess 
باز کن کانجوریشن But you see them, you see them through the wall, essentially, at the moment. But they appear to be about 30 feet away, up ahead, you know. Oh, uh, there are the others, there might be a trap. I am ready for any trap that dares attempt to trap me. <clears throat> anyway. Uh, you guys... So you're keeping an eye out for that stuff? Yep. Okay. Uh alright, I mean you're on perception. So you keep you keep walking. And eventually you see there is an opening up ahead. Uh your eyes of uh like after another minute you see more orbs emerge further and further and there appear to be emerging as they come into your purview, your fairy foot purview. Uh and a line, sort of embedding wall, about at ten feet intervals. There appears to be a new orb appearing as you move in closer. And as you walk in, there is uh, into this open cavern. You come out the tunnel. Uh, we'll take a break there. Oh boy! Hockey dog. Alright, back in five. Damn, let's see. <coughs> what are you doing this weekend then, Jordan? Uh, Friday. Mm. Uh, I'm working all day and then uh, going to Ellie's for the night because Saturday is our anniversary. Right. So we're going bowling on the Saturday. Mm -hmm. uh, bowling and then drinks for that with her her pals. The trends. Nah, they're all just normies. Oh wait, there is uh, Olivia. I don't know if you remember. <laughs> uh, not Olivia. Oh no. Olivia, dude. Yeah, Olivia's gonna be there. So that's one. And I think there's some like non-binary alien who's gonna be there. Of course. And Uni then, people. And then the rest are just like ethnics. I think I'm the only white guy. Because the only other white guy in that friend group isn't going to be there. But they're all like Is Asians. Um, Olivia supposed to be white. Oh yeah, true, true, yeah. I guess Olivia counts. I said, I did say white guy. Right, yeah, sorry, my bad. Whoa, dude, did you just misgender? Oh, bro. Oh, I, PC. I, get I thought you were better than this, Shabu. That is oh, PC, I... fam. I think you wanted to see the film this weekend. Well, yeah, I was thinking if you. Because you said you were busy on the weekend, so I thought maybe you could do Friday. But... What the Holy fuck is that noise? It's my door. <laughs> Why the fuck are you on your phone? On for Discord? Yeah. yeah. A little busy. I, I thought weekend. we could do. I thought we could do Friday or something. Oh. Not any other day, but. Because I was literally. Oh yeah, Sunday I'm seeing fucking Endgame. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you were. Yeah. What? Was it this morning? Finally, then we can make Avengers references next week. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, oh, you guys you have that. to change your fucking party name. <laughs> nah, it, it stays. Or is it? Yeah, I literally just saw it this morning that it was like John Wick 3 in cinemas from the 15th. I'm like, what? Where's that? That's tomorrow. 15th. Oh, tomorrow? Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. I thought it was months from now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, out of fucking nowhere. Yeah, I was like, it was kind of weird it was yeah, coming out, but like, I thought it was like June or July or something. I still haven't even seen the second one. It's on Amazon. I mean, mm -hmm. I've got it. I just haven't watched it. That's terrible. Watch it, mate. That's just that's really good. What are you talking Marshall's about? The... John Wick. It's a guy film. It's a guy Whoa. film. <laughs> oh. It's, it's like what do you mean? A guy, I never knew films had genders, bro. They are. Castaway and John Wick and like... 
Castaway. Castaway? That's a weird <laughs> one. <laughs> Why, yeah. wait, 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 wait. Why was that the first movie that came to your mind as a guy I've always film? thought it was a guy film. It's because of... It's, yeah, it's because of Wilson. Wilson. It is. It's, it's the boy Wilson. A man and his beach ball. <laughs> and his uh, sex story. Man, man, man. 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 Guy. <laughs> Castaway. <laughs> All them boy movies. I like it. it was like, yeah, it's a guy movie. Like, Castaway. <laughs> I think, yeah. And I was like, nah, fuck, fuck Star Wars or The Punisher, Castaway, Tom the Hanks. Punisher, Punisher probably as well. That wasn't that good though. I haven't watched the second season. Yeah. Boy. boy. Oh, yeah, because it's oh, sure. probably. I watched I'm the, in the movie episode. anyway. I thought, I thought you meant the movie, yeah, but there's the Netflix season's pretty bad. What? Season one's sick. Oh, it's yeah, season one's great, yeah. It's like fuck off, mate. 80% flashbacks. I'm like, this is boring as fuck. Get out, mate. Get out. Mate, Memento Mori. You need the best story. You need Sweet exposition. Episode. Yeah. There's more exposition than actual story, though. <laughs> I mean, I'm happy as long as Punisher is cracking skulls. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't need to do that much of that. Well, I've not seen the whole season, actually, so I don't know. Wow. About You're judging wow. it. You haven't even Judge. seen it all. Wow. Let's fuck all of that. Yeah. Your opinion is invalid just if you haven't seen it. Just I bet you like the yeah. new se the late season of Game of Thrones. You fucking sick <laughs> cunt. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking degenerate. It's a bit coming from you. I bet you haven't even seen the last episode, mate. It uh -huh. has issues, but so far it's, it's alright. Bruh! Yeah. I'm what do you mean? What the <laughs> fuck, bruh? Okay, so apart from the writers, like, just <laughs> fucking up crazy yeah. bad. Yeah, yeah I was just like, really yeah. good. Yeah. The yeah. really good. The direction's really good. The, I would just like to remind you, you know, everything's great except the fucking plot. Right, the storytelling, <laughs> the actual storytelling. Just yeah. to remind Yeah, you. just the narrative, no big deal. Just the, <laughs> yeah. just, just the characters are completely yeah, just, uh... 180 and they're no, seven not years of... Than that. Are, are you telling me Jamie Lannister hasn't 180 and just ruined seven years of character development? Yep. That's fine. I would just like <laughs> to remind I mean, you might as well just throw up a spoiler right on fucking just, stream there. Oh, sorry. Uh, has everybody seen it? I no, didn't. but I would yeah. just like to let you know. Yeah, I have it doesn't not matter. Any Game of Thrones. It's not worth spoiling. Because I know the boy from oh, fucking that wrote Dead, uh, X Men or Origins. Yeah, as and guess the what? I'm like, nope. Guess what, dude? They're gonna be writing the Old Republic saga, Star Wars Old Republic. Yeah. Fucking rip. It's fine. I will just play the games. Well, no, I mean, <laughs> the thing is, with D&D, &D, they can fucking, they can write good scenes, they've just chosen not to for this season. Yeah. No, 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 that's not it, though. The, the thing about fun, the D&D &D guys uh, is they have they wrote really well when they're adapting things. Yeah, true to be honest. This is what the story is, you just have to adapt it. Yeah, and now they're, good, they're, like, they're doing their own thing. Yeah, they're, they're just, good at they're doing really... stories that they didn't write. I mean, yeah. It's not like it's terrible. But they're, they're, good at, they're, good at, they're good at adapting it and writing it for a TV show. Bro, I was so pissed at the second episode. You have no idea. I was second so episode. What well, episode two? Oh wait, was that three? Two or three? Three, the three is one. the battle. Three is the, the battle. All right, I was so pissed at that one. Fuck me, dude. Oh no, I was it's very. It's so bad. I'm like, very. I'm, I'm, it was. Un unleash your anger. <laughs> Alright, anyway, worse worse. I, I'm not getting into it because I've already ranted for hours about this with like my sister and stuff and friends, so I want to get into I thought, it. I thought the third one was the worst one, but it wasn't like there was worse episodes in the Game of Thrones. Uh, it depends. Nah. If you put if you take it out of context, yeah. If you put it in the context of the whole season and like what what that episode actually meant, then no, that was like one of the worst episodes. Like it, for me, that. the reason I was most disappointed with it is it was supposed to be the event that has been being foreshadowed for like eight, a whole show basically. Apparently, HBO uh, were uh, going to oh. give them ten episodes, yeah. but they refused or some shit. Yeah, they were yeah, going to give. It was going to be the same budget budget like screen time. It was going to be the same screen time. It wasn't going to be that much more screen time, so it was still going to be ten episodes at an hour each rather than six hour and a half. Know, so it was the same amount of screen time. They just had to just have like they basically like, told that. <laughs> it would be easier to have six episodes because then you have like six episode endings rather than ten. Yeah, I mean, maybe. But I totally think this this season could absolutely do another four episodes. Oh, absolutely. Like, could do well, not episodes. after this. Uh, this is just no, dragging it. I just want a show to die at this point and never come back. <laughs> Give me oh, something. Uh, let me you're die. On the, you're on the free folks of Reddit. Yes. That's great. Yes. Like, and when I learned the links up right now, I was like, holy shit, that's great. <laughs> I know. 
<laughs> hey, one sec. <laughs> Beer bag, gonna make a drink. Three, there's no force, we're Lord of the Rings over it now. As long as Snade Stark doesn't come back, I will watch it. <laughs> comes back. <laughs> well, let's just quickly hop on the Lord of the Rings subject then. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a rough season, but the memes are keeping me in it. Oh shit, that's a sick tattoo. Like, all I've seen is like, someone, like one of my friends on Twitter was like, the only thing I can think of about this season of Game of Thrones is the Kirby Enthusiasm song. Yes. <laughs> Aye. And I was like, oh no, that's not a good thing for the last season. <laughs> Yeah, the last season isn't the best one. Like, I think it's actually like the... I don't know, it's hard to tell what's the best season. It was definitely... The one before the seventh season was pretty good. Sixth season was really good. And five. I mean, Four yeah, now, yeah. they're there as well. But oh, everyone just needs to realise, this is like, this is what happens when... This is like the real, the mainstream version of when the, the anime gets ahead of the manga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Basically, yeah. Like, I wonder if George R. R. Martin is going to watch the end of this and be like, maybe I shouldn't end it like that. Well, I'm that's gonna, it. I could have deleted the book another that, 10, that was, that's 10 years. Right, cause, like, there, there's theories and stuff, and all these like fan theories and that going about, and I reckon George R. R. Martin is like, I'm just going to wait until it's all <laughs> finished and then <laughs> pick the best fan theories and just shove them in the book. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because he's not been trying to write this book for like nine years or so. Oh, more than that, man. He's waiting now because he's like, aha, you guys fucked up. Now everyone wants to know the real end. <laughs> We're <laughs> buy my book. <laughs> the ultimate ploy. If not, there's a large possibility that you'll fucking die before it's been released. I think yeah, it's not a small possibility, is it? <laughs> no, it's not. He said he doesn't want to. It's not even going to be his book. He plans so like three more, other books after got, this. It's two more books. It's um. The Winds of Winter? Win, it, Winds of Winter and a Dream of Spring. And a Dream of Spring, yeah. There's two more books still to come? Yep. Yeah. He won't make it. He won't make it. He's, he's fucking done all that. I think he's already read the books and he's like on, me, on his deathbed and he's gonna like, like his fucking door or whatever on, on the will. Whoever is youngest child, they're on the will, but you need to speak to me before I die. He's gonna come up to him and he's gonna whisper the location in his ear, but it's like you're sworn to secrecy on the wall. <laughs> nah. And only one he's person. Already said, he's already like... said that uh, if he dies, the books go with him, so. <laughs> oh. Oh no. I know. <laughs> but I don't know if that was just like taking the piss out of convention or something like that, or if it's actually no. serious. No, he's read every, read it. Single, every single copy of the books he's ever sold. <laughs> <laughs> the oldest in the group. Giant Churro Fire. <laughs> Oh, he's sh everybody's so pissed off at the fucking books now. <laughs> he's like, he's like the ultimate, he's like the ultimate enemy against climate change. <laughs> he's like, got all these fucking trees I've cut down and I'm burning them. Well, yeah. All right, mm. we all set? No, one what? more thing. Uh huh. Jamie Lannister is the perfect example of an abusive relationship. That's oh, I'm fucking. Right, continue. Yeah, we start off Jamie Lannister. They fucked him the worst. Honestly. No, he was. I think he's one of the best characters. Yeah, no, he's one of the best was. characters. But was. Was. No, no, he character still is because he's just like he just. He's uh, yeah, he's just a like a tragic, uh, a tragic character. People, I'll tell you who not, the best character not is. Not until season Garth. seven. Not until Garth season seven, episode character. whatever just happened. Every, episode five or whatever it was. Season eight. No, as soon as he loses, as soon as he gets his hand cut off, he becomes a tragic Jeremy Lancer. No, it's all about redemption. His stories about redemption until the literally the last yeah, episode. But, you don't always get redemption. But he already got time. it. He was already he redeemed. Was, yeah, I know, but it wasn't really. Cause and then still... they fucked it. Yeah, well, maybe. That's fine. I totally, I totally believe him. Yeah, like, like, if you think at, at the start, you know, he, everyone hated him because he like crippled. Yeah, but there's like there's there's figures in history that they've done basically that thing. They've like been you know pissed about and whatever, and then like oh we'll do something right for a change, and then do something right, and then like at the end they go ah, I'm gonna fuck it up again. Can't think of it right now though. I'll have to take it back to you. Hitler? No. <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> I mean, it just it kind of does. No. So, but especially with how things played out in the recent episode, because Jamie just got told by Braun that Cersei wanted to kill him. 
But then the episode, he's like, I must go back and see Percy. Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah, he yeah. missed the incest pussy, that's why, after fucking Brian. <laughs> Cersei, <laughs> hey, Ron, go kill my traitor's mother. Damn. Also, you saying, that must have been, like, the worst you, fucking existence. Are you honestly existence. fucking saying that Brienne's, Brienne was that bad that... Yeah. Well, well, I'm just saying... Brienne was saying that, the writers are saying a... that. <laughs> Even though she was blonde, she didn't have that sister in her, if you feel me. No. Or, Lad. or she didn't have that brother in him, as we would accept that for Jeremy. But I just choked on my own. You're spit. reaching. You're reaching now. Yeah. All right, cram it, chill it. So can we go into the fight now? <laughs> yep. yeah, this is the fight. The fight? What fight? What are you talking? We're about? fighting D and D. What are you about? No, we're not. We're, we're complaining about D and D. Yeah. Yep. All right. Do you guys ready? Yes. The real D and D talk. All right, let me wow. get the music going. Uh, I already hate everything. I hope you <laughs> enjoyed the Game of Thrones segment. Not sponsored by the way. It's only one person Wait, watching. What's this? Me. What's this music? All oh, right, no this never mind. Sponsored by Slash Rush Slash Free Folk. And, and not one note. This episode is brought to you by NordVPN. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> go <Spoo> War Space. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Where are we? Where are we? Let me find We're at the Dollar Shave Club H K H Q. Uh, Oscars. Uh, 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 uh. Let's see. We're an Intimox Squarespace. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm I'm okay. Uh, I'll say as you're traveling. Uh, since the tower's keeping an eye out, Garf, make an investigation check. Oh yes, Detective Garf on the scene. Mm -hmm. Head Detective of Avengers PD. Oof. Maybe not, Chief. Someone fire <laughs> this man. <laughs> hey, yeah, if, I'm, if I carry solo, none of you guys can solve it. Yeah, you don't see shit. Uh, don't know what I was as you're traveling, you, yeah, you come into this open cavern. It's pitch black. Uh, I uh, believe it is in anyway. I'll cast Produce Flame, so we have a bit of light. You cast Produce... okay. Uh, so you come into the cavern and cast Produce Flame, so you... Uh, torch. You cast Produce Flame, all of you make perception checks. Uh oh. I, I hope I see a giant yeah. spider. Oh. 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 Me eyes. Hey! Me eyes, but... <laughs> Jesus Christ, two Oh no, wait, I used up all the crits. Fuck. <laughs> that was my... Boom. That was the strat, that was the strat. Uh, doesn't matter, you didn't have advantage. But you did get 24. And you got 27, which is definitely high enough to I hear... I do have advantage, we have light now. Mm. This... Accurate. This is... What does these... Wait, let me check. What does the item specifically say? She's got the cape does and it... she's got the emblem. And the wolf pendant says, gives advantage in all perception checks. All right. That's a ridiculously right. powerful item. Not yeah. OPL. Okay, yeah, you got a nat 20. All right, so the two people with the nat 20s. Uh, yes. You hear scuttling across the walls. As you come in, and as the produce flame specifically ignites, boom, you hear like the faint, like, like skittering across the walls, and a little pebble kind of like drops, but no one else seems to hear it, just you two. Do the balls moving? You know, the magic globes, are they moving? Um, no, they seem stationary. Uh, there's ones directly to your left. And right, and Scheming, look, looking, giving with that light, you can see what's like. Ah, oh, fuck! Keep sneezing. Um. Uh, you can see now. You've got line of sight. They appear to be some kind of embedded gems in the walls. With faint, well, you your detect magic's just worn off, but you, you that's what the the source was. Uh, you guys currently hear scut like you heard scuttling does and it's it kind of stopped. Does it look like it may be the center of an elemental? 
Eins. Make a... I guess intelligence check to like remember or think about it. Uh, hard to tell. It looks similar, but you're not sure completely. Hmm. Okay. Do you want to do anything with that? No. Do you guys... What, what do you guys do at this point? You're standing... In this... Is yeah. this cave I know? Just blame is this cave so really dark? Uh, for the most part. Yeah, you can't see it all. How big is it, roughly, can we tell? Uh, you guys have just come into the entrance of it. it pff, you can't see the end. Not even the ones with superior dark vision. I do the old light on a uh, crossbow bolt. Fire crossbow in the darkness. I'm also going to ignite Dawnbringer to try and get a bit more light in here. Okay. Shh, keep uh, it down, the rats are near. Okay. Those of you... Okay, so you light up Dawnbringer. Zoom. Lightsabers ignited. Uh, <clears throat> and you fire a lit crossbow. It's lit fam. Down the middle. Oh my god. How. What. Light sheds torchlight, right? Um. I think so. So you fire a crossbow just like. There you go. Randomly in the middle? Yeah, 20 foot uh, bright light. 20 foot dim light. I just fire it like. Because if I can't see the other side, I'll just go. Hmm. Okay. See how far it goes. As you do, you hear a clang. Um, hard to tell how far, but it didn't go too far. It seems to have hit something. And as it did, you caught a shadow moving by, and something rather big. And you, with you guys with the high perception checks, see and hear scut scuttling coming from. Mostly you're right. Uh, mostly you're right at this point, and a little to your left, along the, I'll the walls. I'll cast Shillelagh on my staff. Okay, and with that uh, light, you saw something, some shadow, curling around some kind of pillar object. I don't know how to describe it. Uh, but basically, um, yeah, something is in the darkness and it appears to be coming towards you. How tall is the ceiling up? Uh, quite high up, I'd say, like, uh, you can probably see the top of it though. Actually, it wouldn't be too high, these pillars. I'd is say, like, 20, I'd say 20 feet, 20 feet high. Is there a crossbow bolt sticking out of the thing? It's, it appears to have climbed against some kind of pillar up ahead, oh, okay. and to your left, to the left of that, appears to be another pillar, with something, some shadow you've seen curling around it, almost like a snake. And at that point, those of you with the high perceptions hear like hissing noises, and mm. you're gonna have to roll. I mean, they know oh, you're here. Medusa. They know you're here. You're gonna have to roll uh, initiative. So I'll bring you guys in. Fucking Medusas. And you'll see what you see as they move in at this point. They're moved in, so you might see them now. Uh oh. Trying to treat t-shirts so classy. Uh oh. Wait, is that is that thing glowing or just no? It's not very really detailed. It's just it's just on the ground. Some kind of ruins on the ground. Uh, one sec. Damn, nineteen. Well, this Where's is my one. Where is my token? Please don't fail me now. <laughs> you failed me. Right. And from the room, the Demogorgon. Yeah, here it comes. Uh, <laughs> He's been eating big little wings or whatever they're called. What was he gonna do again? Why don't you just eat like five big wings? He's got toe to toe with the fucking Demogorgon. <laughs> None of you have attempted that, I will say, to eat more than one. That's just uh, poisonous. That's just these guys. Who are these guys? I can't even see them. Yeah, I, cannot, I can't even see these guys. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, this place is... That's how it looks to you guys. Oh you goodness. just see shadows moving around and skittering. Oh, I know exactly what's coming. You hear skittering to your right. Oh no. 
Embrace. Isha. No. Right. You using your sword or your bow? Anyways, we're into it. So, <laughs> Garv. Can I go? Yep, you can go. Do the thing. You see some shit thing. moving towards you, you hear like hissing noises, and you even hear a little grumbling like a girl. Glow. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna move 20 feet up just to. Oh, I'm like, oh my, I see them. I see them. Right. I found them. It's paired to Platobus, it's fine. Uh, I'm going to rage. They, just so you know, they're like 15 feet up. Oh, are they 15 feet up? Okay. Well, not all of them. But the uh, ones that are on the wall are clearly are. <laughs> There's a couple who are. See this boy? The one, like, closest to this one? Yeah, that's on the wall. Is that on a wall? 15 yeah. feet up, right? Yeah. I want to rage. I'm gonna get an angle on him. Uh, a javelin or something. Yeah, I'm gonna chuck a javelin at him, yeah. Just to this one, like, that's like closest to me. Do you give off uh, damage? No. Make a con save. <laughs> uh oh. Oh. oh Last 10, don't fail me now. Holy shit, yeah. yeah. Oh! 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 <laughs> oh! Shit. Okay. So, what do you do? Hey, I'm throwing a javelin. Go for it. The one that you first pinged, that misses. Yeah. <laughs> I am extra aggro, can I double rage? <laughs> nope. <laughs> uh, uh, that will be it, Jordan. Alrighty. Hello? It is the little guy's turn. It's gonna skit around. Ten. Oh, because they're both little and big. Uh, yeah, big guy's different. Oh, there's a little guy. Jumps down. Ah. Uh, <laughs> it's a face hugger. This one's gonna run towards you. Uh, Bosner, you've seen these before? Yes, I yes, have. Um... This one runs towards you also. Do you remember fuck all with them though? Oh wait, my EC went up, I just remembered. <laughs> Did it? Yeah, because of my own armored defense. <laughs> oh yeah. Isha, you got your bow out, right? This thing curls around and it's on the wall here, and it's just hissing and staring at you. Oh, uh, this one's gonna move here. Uh -oh. Hello. Twenty. This one's gonna dash and skitter across the ground towards you. Uh, okay. Attack time. Two attacks. <coughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, two attacks. So, bite, bite. Atara, you take one hit. Ten points of piercing. Oh, what's your AC? Just to make sure. Uh, fifteen. Yeah, just yeah, hit you. Uh, so you take ten piercing and five poison altogether. Uh, I can't be poisoned, by the way. Okay, yeah, they don't, they don't, they don't poison you, it's just poison damage. It's just like Komodo Dragon Saliva, don't worry about it. <laughs> Meanwhile, Garv gets the old bite action on him too, and only one hits for... 17. Uh, 17, yeah, I got a 22. Cool. Yeah, one hits, one of them manages to bite you in the thigh before you kick <sighs> it off. Dealing a whopping 14 points of damage, uh, only 9 of that is piercing, so that's only half to, to 4, so altogether it's 9. Cool. Uh, that's gonna be it for these guys this <coughs> turn. Oh, sorry, I missed one. This one's gonna skitter down and dash to get behind you, go. So, I am in danger! Atara, your turn. Um, I have a question. Can I use my uh, produce flame as a bonus action and shove it inside uh, that you, guy? You need to show me what produce flame does. Put it in chat. I think I have the box here. Because I'm sure you can use a melee weapon attack. But I'm sure it's an action. What are you hitting with? <clears throat> Just, uh, uh, she wants to fist. 
Which I her just really me has. <laughs> like it's a range touch, touch the guy on my left with the produce flame, and then walk the other with the stuff. Cast a spell. When you cast a spell, or the next only turn, her make a range spell attack. Yeah, this would be an action. It looks like. Uh, you could. Okay. Uh, wait. Can you wield quarter staffs in the offhand? Does it have the light? Thing on quarter staff. Uh, no, oh, it's in my hand. Yeah, yeah, I mean, as in, like, is it a light weapon? Light weapons can no, be used. Yeah, uh, it's a quarter staff, and yeah, I can it's... use it one handed or two handed. Yeah, Alright. It's, it's both as first style, so it's not light. Okay, yeah, then you can you can only use. You can use produce flame to attack, uh, but then it goes. The flame goes out, but that's an action, or you can use quarter staff to attack. I use the quarter stuff to attack. If you do two handed, uh, you're probably yeah, gonna I'll drop the produce. produce flame. Yeah. yeah. Okay, no worries. I'll do two handed. Go for it. The one in front of you, take it. Oh, come on! Yeah, it misses. That's a one. Oh, damn, that's a one. Accidentally yeah. clip each other when you're yeah. over your head. Thunk, thunk, shit. It bites it <laughs> like a dog grabbing yeah. a stick and kind of shakes his head left and right. But you managed to see, wrestle it through. Do I see if Isha got his um, bow in his, in his hand or he's got rapier? I don't know. That's a, that's a mighty shield and a rapier in my hands. Sir. Okay. There you go. I'm ma'am. <laughs> it's ma'am! Okay, then that's me. Okay. Isha, your turn. Ah, oh, fuck. Uh, so, this might be good. So that one is engaged in combat with Dara, right? Correcto? I'll show you. Which one? It's like this. Yes. Ah, uh, even better. Everybody with me. 70 p a month. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. It's all paying off. It's all paying off. Uh, I'll try and attempt and fist it. Mm-hmm. From the rear. With yeah, advantage. Classic prostatics, I like it. <laughs> Nothing personal, you tiny bit. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. Uh, hits. Oh, god. God bless. All plans. Okay. 16. Give me that dice, please. Uh, crit. Ah. Oh. <sighs> Almost. Why don't you crit a 19 like a normal fighter? <laughs> yeah, chap, come on. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just, just, just crit on a 19, lol. With three successive blows, the third one pierces through its, the back of its skull and it flops to the ground. As you put your hey. boot on its back and wrestle mm. the rapier from its limp body. Isha, your blade uh, will kill. These... Uh, Sick, uh, sorry, like eight She's legged the, uh, reptiles looking creatures. Uh, uh, oh, sorry, scared. sorry, I need Adhara and Isha to both make con saves. Oh, fuck. Uh, I wish you guys wish you had the plus 10 yeah, now, didn't you? Yeah, I fucked up, but. You guys oh, both... please don't fail me now. Ah. Okay, we we'll take those. Adhara. Ain't your con? Yeah. You are. I'm beefy. You are restrained. As your familiar sensation takes over your body and you begin to turn to stone. <laughs> oh, not this. What? Where is it? As you guys meet these things' gaze, it appears they are. Yep, they can turn you to stone. It looks Shit. like. <laughs> um, oh, the basilisk or something. Yeah. Oh, fucking great. Bosner oh, has spoken great. to a basilisk <laughs> before, so he knows what they are. So I'll say, Bosner, you can avert your eyes on the first turn, but the rest of you can't on the first turn. Okay. Well, I'll avert my eyes from now on. Sure. <laughs> 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 right. uh, get that up changes things. Uh, if, you, if, you, if you save on the con save, are you then immune? I'm not telling you. <laughs> it says you're oh, wait! Wait! I, I still have my inspiration point. 
Can I reroll that? Uh, okay. Sure. Oh boy. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, did yeah. you did do better. Plus one, baby. Yeah, clear that inspiration and you're still restrained. It's uh, uh, creeping up your oh body shit. from. It's like grayscale. It's creeping up your body. <laughs> Did you just go and get your bird? <laughs> so, right. uh, Icha, are you done? I'm just trying to move my last feet. There we go. Peace out, Nibbas. <laughs> what? Alright. Oh no. Uh. Oh no. I now see the problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my dialer. Uh I thought those were just little wee ones. Uh... Yeah, little ones. Yeah, no! Little no! Little ones. <laughs> those ones! Oh, oh god, there's two. There's two. Uh okay. So for a so let's go. Whoa, whoops. Roll twenty, fucking me again. Good shit. This one's gonna run towards the Actually, ignore me. Ignore me. No, it's mm -hmm. gonna come towards you. You're the closest thing. This one's gonna run like this. Oh, that's a oh. big boy. That's a big boy. This one's gonna Damn run, boy. run here, and it is going to. Wait, what can I do here? These things have multi actions. Okay, this one is going to spit at Hara. What is your AC, at Hara? Fifteen. It just hits you. Uh, okay. Uh, so you take sixteen points. Oh, why is why does it do that? Oh, I know 16? why. I know why. Make uh make a con save. Again? Yeah. Double still. Yeah. But I'm afraid in my eyes. No, no, it's not for that. Yeah. Oh, Come on, little dragon. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, just nine more turns and it might be okay. Okay, so as the venom hits you, uh, begins to sink into your skin, and because you can't move, you can't uh, withstand the venom. You can't get it off in time, so it deals extra damage. So instead of 16 points, it deals 27 points of poison. What? Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, this guy's gonna give uh, the old what? bite and tail to your boy Garv. That's a hit and that's a miss. The bite hits you for 32, uh, sorry, 20 points of piercing, half to 10, mm -hmm. and then 12 points of poison. So 22 altogether. That's fine. Um, it's fine. This is the fine. The tail lashes this out. <laughs> the t his tail lashes out and you manage, even though you're surrounded, to somehow juke it. But we come to Epkis's turn now. I have a, can I use body action, Jordan? It depends what it is. I want to shout something at Epkis. Okay, you can do that. Torch me with your fireballs! <laughs> Alright. Don't worry, we'll get to that. Interesting. That'll be your reaction then. Yup. Uh, Epkis! I suppose I mean, you get any bit of con save then, yeah? Yep. Alright. Oh, wait, let's see. On. How close no, are you to these guys? Nice attack okay. Them. Yep. I mean I, I, I mean, I know they're basilisks, but I'm, uh, I wouldn't know them in good five. Yeah, I mean, they kind of, the thing, it's like kinda almost a surprise, I almost gave them a surprise round because of the way it worked out, you guys didn't really see them coming. So instead of yeah. giving them a whole round of surprise, I'm just saying, alright, first round, don't get to vary your gaze, but from then on, Bosner can be like, don't look at them, and then you can do it. Yeah, okay. So, make your con, okay, okay, I think you're fine, let me just check. Fifteen's a magic number. Oops, wrong thing. Come on. Uh, this is the thing. No, please be right there. Okay, yeah, you lock eyes with the big one who runs out of the shadows and you're almost locked in place out of just surprise and shock at the size of these things coming towards you. And his eyes pierce into yours, but you manage to resist the creeping, your joints begin to stiffen when you manage to break free of the magical hold and you're fine this turn. In such case, I'm going to cast a fireball right there. Uh, okay, I actually have a fireball radius. Where do you want it exactly? Right there. Here. <coughs> okay. Uh, 
Dexy. It's your boy. It's your boy. Go fireball at fifth level. Ooh. You should have. Oh yeah, you're a warlock. It has to be fifth. Never mind. Go ahead. Q. Oh yeah, wow. Warlock's a weird thing, don't you? Yeah. So DC 18 Dex save. Uh oh, he just fails and he passes. So what's the damage? Seven eight. Thirty nine. So oh wait, is that is that a deck save? Yeah. It's a deck save, yeah. I get advantage because danger sides. Nineteen. Oh, so you take barely beat it. I take full or half there. Sorry, I did. Uh, ha it's half from a save, and you take half fire damage anyway. Score. So. So nineteen. Nineteen is half. Basically nine. Yeah. See that circle? Does it supposed to have like an aura around it? Because I can't see it. No, I, just I can see it. Yeah, 20 oh, feet. Because it's controlled by me. Because I can. Yep. All thanks to our Rule 20 subscription. Please sponsor us. <laughs> yeah. Rule 20, where's that, where's that sponsor money at? Uh, <laughs> sponsor okay, yeah, the we'll low guys. Save, save, save. Fail, uh, fail, fail. Very nice. Blast. Alright. Yeah, you engulf the whole area in flame and you hear the screeching and growling of the lizards. Is that you? That shall be me, yes. Alright. Bosner, you're up. Sweet. I move. Through here. Let's see. Buggers. Rips. Oh, he moved! <laughs> that was a Bring mistake. It. I moved him back. He was like, one He uses his reaction to run at you and kill you. <laughs> Channel Divinity as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's gonna be oh, this thingy. Yeah. yeah, this thingy. So, 5d6 for you. Uh. Okay. Uh, start your turn, make a con save. Uh, it's only. for the gates. And uh, yeah, so channel divinity as well for the uh, thunder damage. So I need con saves from all the bad guys. All right, but I need con save from you. Oh, okay, sure. Yeah. Oh no. Just Pascal saves. <laughs> I actually totally forgot about that. Oh, that's just, oh sorry, that's the fucking sorry. That's the same. <laughs> okay. Ooh. You're fine. So you can you run up your joints again. Your joints begin to lock up, but you break free. And you yeah. run in and cast this big spell, and uh. So that's uh, 59, sorry, 49 damage, or half on a, a successful con save. Alright, so con, con save, so big guys first. Who's this hitting? Uh, everything within 30 foot. Alright, yeah, so basically everyone. Uh, yeah. No allies, right? No allies. Uh, the, what is the DC? 17. Alright, top one fails and the uh, left one succeeds. So, what's half damage? Uh, 24. 24. 24. And full damage would be 50. Four. 49. 49. Alright. Alright, blasted. Uh, and the low guys. Uh, this one dies. This one dies. This one dies. Um. So these guys need to make saves. One, two, three. Strategy works, guys. Uh, fail, <laughs> save. Kill him. <laughs> fail. So he takes 49. He takes 24. And he takes 49. Yeah. Is that you? Uh, yeah. Aye, Garv, you're up. Alright. Did this? Uh, I want to hit this boy in front of me recklessly. Mm -hmm. The only one left. Hits. And he's, he's not prone if he's not already rock prone. Yeah, uh, prone. They're immune to prone. <laughs> oh well, he takes twelve. Okay. And then giant sewer again. That hits. Yep. Takes 15. Mm -hmm. 
And then uh, offhand hand axe. Here we go, boys. And girl. 24. Uh, yep, that's. That's 9. Alright, 9. Is that you? Oh, wait. Con oh, save. Con save. Yeah. Please. <laughs> oh, ooh. All right, you're fine. Ooh. But you have to tell you guys need to tell me the start of the turn if you're yeah. averting gaze from now on. Ah, we're brave. <laughs> I'm a brave boy. I am averting my fucking gaze. <laughs> I'm looking at that. One. <laughs> my eyes. for you. You're going down. Is that you, Garf? Just take your wax and whack him. All right. Well. Uh. This one's gonna run towards. I guess. This is gonna run. No, you swine. <laughs> <laughs> Bain to Dara and get her where she's not looking with advantage. I mean, you're restrained, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. But, bait, bait on Adara with advantage. Uh, oh my god, I'll they still miss. But it <laughs> doesn't matter, they miss. 15. Well, I rolled a I'm 7. At the roll two sevens with advantage, so. <laughs> but about the rocky legs. Ape hey, kiss. 14 to hit? Oh, you bastard, yes. Alright, take 11 piercing and 6 poison for a total of okay, 17. Okay. Uh, and they're just hissing at you, boys, and that's gonna be it for them. They seem to just be animalistic, feral, and protecting their home. Atara, your turn. <laughs> oh god, try to make us feel I'm bad. I'm scared, oh, so Oh, Ahara, I'll first, shout. you need to make a call save first. Mm -hmm. Why? I'm about to my gaze no. now. No, you saw You're turning into... Fuck! Wow, oh, no. I did not expect that. Alright, I'll tell you what happens. <laughs> On a failed <laughs> save, the creature magically begins to turn to stone and is restrained. It must repeat the saving throw end of its next turn. On a success, the effect ends on a failure. The creature is petrified. Okay, yeah. your turn to stone. Oh, but this was not the end of my turn. Yeah. So, oh, you're right. You're, tr you're right. Time. That's why oh, I yeah, read it. Right, right. So what do you want to do? As the stone begins to creep up your body. Thunder wave. Alright, go ahead. <laughs> Fuck you that hits, I'm pretty sure that At hits. Level two. Does that not hit friends? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Level 2 Thunder Wave, everyone within, was it 15 feet? Yep. Alright, all of you <laughs> in this bottom half need to make con saves. What about so flying creatures? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't say the creature was like flying away, it's on your person, it looks like. You didn't specify. Yeah, it doesn't even matter if it saves on, a, <laughs> on <laughs> HP. <laughs> okay. The two, bas the two basils fail. So they take full damage, which is 11. 11 and what about the third one? Uh, oh sorry, yeah, I didn't even see that one. Yeah, these two die, even on half. They oh die. yeah, get them, girl. Boom, their heads explode. Good. At least I've done something. <laughs> Wait, is that the end of your turn? <laughs> uh, guess I used a couple of. Oh, just Thunderwave. What was the right? Was that 11 damage there for that concept? Yeah, Thunderwave. Okay, go. Yeah. Oh, wait, I haven't done mine. Roll 20, you bitch. There we go. So, was it half damage yeah, or not? Yeah, yep. piece, you get, you get that back as your health. Oh, big bog, thank you. Yep, blasts everyone. And, and then, as the stone done. creeps up your body, you point to Epkis and heal him a little bit. But the stone creeps across your arm, and is it anything else? Last words. Last words? No. Alright, the stone takes you, <laughs> and you're held in place. Just a stumpy face. <laughs> stone takes Petrified, as you point towards Epkis with your last heal. Isha, your turn. Well, okay. obviously, Shade is not on my person when I'm turning to stone. Uh, yeah, Shade will fly upwards, and <laughs> stay high. Shade He would have taken a damage as well, if my bird took it. <laughs> No, because it was coming from me and it was on me. She's flying above you. Sure. We'll see. So, Isha. I'm looking at that bad boy. Thick. Oh. Thick boy. Okay, you're yeah. looking at him. Alright, make a concert. 
We need to look at him. Beat him. <laughs> oh, Alright. You seem fine at the moment. See, let's just roll 20 p me, because I can't tell if it's a 6 or a 9. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I've got to switch to my bow. And I'm going to shoot it. Alright. That hits. Yep. And I'm gonna apply. Shh. Wait, let me just double check. Yep. Shadow air on it. Target cannot see further than 5 feet. Uh. Wisdom save. Got it. Let's see. 17 to be. Yeah, that's gonna be a no dog. So you can only you see save? 5 feet. No, he didn't save. Alright, yeah. So he takes extra 9 psychic. And uh -huh. cannot see further than 5 feet. Further than 5 feet. Got until it. my next turn. Sure. And That's crazy. And two more shots against him. Alright. Hits. 20? Yep. <laughs> Rules of 5. Is that damage? Oh, just 21 damage. Don't worry about it. Yikes. Yep. I love misses. Yep. How many arrows do you have left? <laughs> it's dangerous. Close to half. Uh, that is. That is me. All right. So this thing first. Uh, it's just gonna since it can't really see. It's just gonna recklessly spit, and disadvantage because it can't see. Wow. Okay. So spits it towards the closest creature who's Bosner gets 20, does that hit? No, it does not. Alright, uh -huh. misses. I have a shield. The <laughs> shield. Yeah. It spits and... Uh, Thanks, Red. It's gonna actually re retreat since it's kind of... Not sure what's going on here. With blindness. It literally just backs up. Uh, the... Music went back. Oh, oh Oop. Here we go. Should be it. Uh, then the, the old basilisk <coughs> was going to. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, it's gonna. It's gonna run back a bit, seeing it's. You get to hit it, Garv. It's gonna run back. Oh boy! Guess what I get to do? Eat it. I get a hit it. with both my weapons. <laughs> and um, then. Ah, damn it. <laughs> it's gonna attempt to spit at you, but it misses as it retreats. The 17 hit, Jordan? A 17 hit does hit. It takes 11 damage. 11, got it. Yeah, the other one retreating, shaking its head, running back, the other one sees it retreating, sees you guys killed. No, it, you can imply it's its babies. And it starts retreating. And spitting venom at you instead. It gets your turn. How long does light last? Oh, like an hour. Mm. It's not concentration. Damn, that's OP. Can you just <laughs> cast like light on infinite objects and keep using them? Um, that seems insane sure. if you can. I think it's like one at a time, but I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I put the spell in the chat, it's up there somewhere. I don't like this song. I'm gonna skip it. Likes. I don't like this fight. I'm gonna skip it. <laughs> okay, I realized I was muted the whole time. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> That's a classic. I have a question. Yeah. So, with how Petrifying Gaze works, if I look at one Basilisk and then look at another one, I have to take a con save twice. Uh, you don't know. <laughs> oh, well, let's fucking find well, out. Alright, um, here's how it works. Right, you, right now, it's the start of your turn. You need to decide now if you want to avert gaze. No. No, okay, that means uh, Petrifying Gaze uh, basically is from like 
the closest thing to you. Oh, okay. So this, you're gonna get petrified gaze from this thing because you can see it and it can see you. It's kind of like the Medusa. So I need yeah. you to make a con save at the start of your turn if you're not avoiding gaze. Yes. Rat. Uh, Great you boy. You are grand. You're fine. Excellent. I'll just blast on this wee fucker here. Do it. Please don't hit me. That's a big hit. Big six, yep. Still up. Six damage. Another one. It's creature. It turns around and goes, Mommy, Daddy, I'm dying. <laughs> 16 to it, it, Yep, it hits. Please. That's what it says, <laughs> but you guys just hear, you guys just hear, Ah, uh, yeah. Eric, come on. Trifecta, one more six. Yep. Big 666, six, six. that doesn't hit. Does that hit? No. Oh, okay, it's fine then. I'm just gonna kind of look at my staff and like, why you like this? <laughs> why can't you be more like Dawnbringer? <laughs> uh, I've used Dawnbringer like once. So, is that you then? <laughs> yeah, that will be me, yes. My god, it's deception. The greatest weapon in the whole world. The coolest way for Yeah. What is going on with the music? I fucked this playlist. So, Bosner, what would you like uh, to do? I would like to... Um... I'll just Sacred Flame a little one. I... And I'm going to avert, avert my eyes. Dick save, right? So I'm, I'm nice that way. Yeah, dick save. <laughs> You'll give it a chance. Oh yeah, it doesn't make it. Uh, yeah, you blow it up with radiant light, <laughs> and it, you just flip it from it flips onto his back, and literally goes like, Rawr! and it's on his back, and its wee legs are just kicking for a few seconds, then they just go still. I walk over and I squish it. <laughs> Do you actually? Uh, no. It's fine. Uh, these things are medium creatures. They aren't exactly tiny. Okay, that's fine. Oh, um, and I look. Peering through the darkness to see how far away that one is up there. And do I think it's running away or. I mean, it, just... it backed up on its turn. I don't know. Is it going to recuperate a bit and then whatever? I uh, you don't know. Wild <laughs> creatures, man. That's then. Oh, wait a minute. I go to Adhara. And I, is she totally stone? Yep. Yes. Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> you go the to speak there? <laughs> um. Tell her it'll be alright. You just see an owl we'll on its head. <laughs> <We're right. laughs> and if you could cast talk to animals, you'd hear some stuff. <laughs> well. I don't have that. Uh, can I go? Oh god, not again. And then, yeah, I'm turn. Yep, Vietnam flashbacks. <laughs> to just yesterday. <laughs> yeah, you want to. <laughs> Garf. Uh, uh, not this again. Here we go again. Uh, a question, Jordan. Uh -huh. I see if I was to run there, would I have to avert my gaze? It's like it's behind that pillar. Okay, you can decide now to avert your gaze at the start of your turn. If you don't, you'll be half movement. Uh, I will not avert my gaze then. Okay. Uh, okay, so where do you move? Uh, make a con save. And then... Oh god! <laughs> uh, that is not enough, chief. So oh, as you lift your eyes up, looking at this nation you're about to run to, starting uh -huh. to run towards it, you suddenly your <laughs> leg gets stuck to the ground, and you try and pull, it and you see the stone creeping up towards up your knee, and then it starts to creep up your other leg. You're restrained, but you can still use your actions. You're just literally your movement is counted as zero. Well, it's a good thing Garv was a quarterback in his day. He's gonna like. Realise it's like, oh god damn it. So like he puts his axes of and he's like, get the javelins boys, and chucks it. Alright, you chuck a javelin. Nice. Uh, <laughs> no, but I've got... Big miss. Mm, that's true. Do you do it recklessly? I mean, I guess, so, I guess so, because... <laughs> can you do range attack recklessly? Uh, I don't think so. Yeah. No, uh, I don't think I can. Let me check. It's just an attack, yeah. But yeah, you... Boom, and you just hear it clang off in the background. Actually, you hear a uh, yeah, you hear it like hit against some kind of stone, and it you hear like like it gets lodged into something. Grr! I did. I use my bonus action to bring my axes back in it. All right, cool. 
and I'll end my turn. And I'll be like, I'm getting stoned, Bosnor, help! Help! <laughs> help, help. Uh... Wait, are these all dead? Yep, you killed all the babies. Yep. <laughs> we are terrible people. Atara, <laughs> uh, you're stoned. You sure? <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, at least you didn't get turned to some first time last fight with Medusa. Yeah. Hey! Uh, Who's all stoned? Me. Just a tower and guard just now. Hey, I'm not stoned yet. No. I got another room, let me eat. Right. Oh, yeah. So is my owl pierced here? <clears throat> yep. The thunder, wave, owl. the thunder wave just fucking blew it up. <laughs> Fuck it. It literally Real just life. like blew up in a puff of smoke and like dust. And you're like, fuck's oh, sake, oh, it man. Doesn't another matter. 10 gold or whatever it is. <laughs> Very, I think. Yeah. I need to keep going over it. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll shoot that one. Go for it, sir. <laughs> Con save? It's far away. Uh... Uh... You can see it, it can see you. I oh, can see it, don't, don't worry about that. It, it's, uh, it can't see beyond five. Wait, when does that thing end? At the star of my next turn. Star, okay, make a con save. Until the star of your next turn, yep, it is. Okay, yeah, I can see you. And I can see it. Pierce the at. Oh, okay. Okay, you're fine. Ooh, you can take your shot. I will take my one shot. One opportunity. Seize one shot. Everything All I right. ever wanted. Alright, you said one shot only. Alright. You said it. Yeah, it has. 12 damages. Alright. That's it. And that let's be it. <laughs> Wisdom save. Uh, for Shadow Arrow. Again, Same. it rolled an 18. Yeah, big yikes. Yeah. It only has a plus one to Wisdom. The yikes. Okay. Uh, uh, so six points of soy kick though. It still takes that, right? Or half? No, it still takes it. It just doesn't get the debuff. Alright, cool. Anything else? Alright. Yep. Cannot finish shooty shoots. Alright. Uh, yeah. Yikes. Nope. <laughs> clink, clink, Wait. clink. Oh boy. Is this it? Where's curve shot? Mate, what's the range on the curve shot bullshit? Cause that, they're I, pretty I don't far. Know if it, I don't know if it's 60 from me or 60 from the target. So that's why I'm checking. They are exactly 60 feet from each other. That's why I'm checking it. Uh, use your bow's action to reload the attack row against a different target within 60 feet of the original target. Wow, okay. okay. So, I literally, I've got my shit on hide, but literally, he fires a fucking arrow like this and then curves it around the, the pillar this way. Nothing personal. <laughs> Alright, seems <laughs> good. Alright, go ahead. <laughs> uh, use your bonus action, back. right? Yeah, that's bonus. That hey, ahead. Ah, minimum down. Maximum effort, though. Alright, anything else? And the last. One, two, that was your third shot. shot. No, no, that was your second. Your that was curved. Yeah. Right. Oh, roll 20, don't oh. be like this. Nope. 15. Is that you? That is me. Okay. Minus three arrows. Uh, and that boy can see you again. Yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah, you can see now. Sure can. So it runs. Um, comes here, and it's going to. This one's going to come forward as well a bit. And this one's gonna spit at Garv, and that one True. do that one first. Twenty-one, <laughs> twenty-one to hit. <laughs> yeah. Okay, make a con save. It's probably a man. Uh, okay, you take twenty Ooh. points of poison damage. Ah, look at that! Look at that! Twenty on the screen. <laughs> Outrageous. Yeah. Uh, oh, damage. I don't have the I don't have the dice on. Yeah, twenty poison damage. 
And it poison. Yeah, the other one spits at. Hmm. It's gonna spit you show for his bullshit. Why not? So, 17, <laughs> All right. Seventeen to hit. Uh, yeah. Okay, make a con save. I don't want. To. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, you take twenty-five points of poison as the acid <clears throat> starts melting over you. Sorry, the venom, not the acid. Holy fuck! Starts sinking into your skin. You get all, you get a rash. It's it's no good. It's like eczema. Oh, it's AIDS. And then got it's lizard got, AIDS now. Gonna use more of its movement to back up a bit again. I use twenty to get what? down, and then it retreats. What a coward! These things, Arch. these dude, you guys just massacred its kids. They're gonna just spit at you. you it should be like I'll avenge my children. You are done. Yeah. Is a bastard is considered a beast? Uh... Let me check, I guess. It's not fair, not fair. I can't wait till I fight a giant. <laughs> Stone giants. Nah, they're not beasts. Fuck. Oh, you want to shape into them? <laughs> Nah, they're, yeah. they're, they're, yeah, they're not beasts. <laughs> just imagine, like, as a slow statue, just change the form. Ipkiss, your turn. Oh, no, I'm going to... Do you choose to avert your gaze? gaze? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Half movement. So I'm going to walk forward. One, two, three. To get in front of Adara so I don't fucking blast her at the mm -hmm. And I'm going to... <laughs> Literally. Fire forward into this direction. Alright, making a talk with a disadvantage. Sure. Pew. Uh, doesn't hit. Pew. Hits. Bang. Damn. Six. A six again, let's go. <laughs> I guess six. Big damage, big damage. Alright, last one. Pew. Right. And a miss. Nope. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, alright, alright. That's me. Alright, what's near? Um, I'm gonna move. Averting gazes. Mm-hmm. Alright, averting gazes. Yeah, no, 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 yeah. I've st I have. I like yeah, climbing he, to the ground, basically. Yeah, it's like creeping up on me. It's like up to his waist at this point. Please help. <laughs> Actually, no, I don't have to move. I'm just gonna sacred flame the bugger. A range of 60 feet. Mm. I, I mean, that's helping in the long way, but I meant more short term. Well, okay. Sacred Flame, do you not have to see the point where you're firing it? I don't know. I'm pretty sure you do. It's like a 5 feet it's cube. Of, uh, wait a minute. Sacred Flame. 60 foot. Flame light radius descends. Yeah, on a target you can see within range. Yeah, you can't see him because you're averting your gaze. Uh, can I guess where he is? No, if it says target, you can see. No, you can choose a different spell if you want, or you can uh, choose to look, look, man up and look at him. Nope. <laughs> right. Man up. Uh, okay, I'll, 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 I'll cast a shatter spell. Second level. Uh, all right. Is it is. If it's a spell attack, it'll be disadvantage. That's not. And then that's probably requires you to see the target. We <laughs> can't risk the cleric, dude. Yeah, if it. I can put it next to it. If, if it's. Uh, I mean, you're gonna have to look in the direction. Listen, dude, I'm doing four fucking damage, just let me have it. <laughs> Alright. Okay, Alright, you can have it, but. You know what? I would be bothered if it was like, you know. Yeah. To put like 20 damage or And that. Andy gets a 22. To save. It says two. Yeah, two damage. <laughs> what the fuck? Is that level one spell? Yeah, it's level oh. two spell. Nice. 3d8 by the way. Oh, fucking hell. Alright. <laughs> you scraze it with some thunder damage. It feels a weird vibration. It a little. Yeah. Anything else? It kinda likes it. <laughs> <laughs> it. You right. hit the mummy. Garb, you're restrained. But you can still uh. take your actions. <laughs> Pretty turn to stone. I can't, I don't even think I can do anything. Well, you can do whatever you can. <laughs> you, can try I, and, you can try to pull your legs out or something, I don't know. <laughs> so it works, uh, I think. Yeah, like I think can... you should try. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the GM trying to turn me into a wheelchair user, but okay. Uh, uh, 
I'm just going to take a defensive pose, Jordan. <laughs> so the dodge action. The dodge, the dodge action. action, yeah. It may not matter, but make a con save. Yikes. Uh, oh. that's, a, that's a solid oof. You're petrified. <laughs> You're a statue. You're petrified with a con save of plus 10. Yeah, yeah what the yeah, fuck, dude? Welcome to the club. <laughs> Alright, you guys are both petrified. Uh, Isha, your turn. Oh, already? Fuck. Oh. <laughs> oh, you're not. Yeah, you're not thinking it. You're fine. Yeah. <laughs> you're trying <yeah. sighs> well, There's a question. Okay, let me just read here something. It says a point I choose. Does that mean I have to look at it? Yep. Unless you choose a point that isn't near it. But in its direction? I mean, if it's in its, if it's like anywhere near it, yeah, it's go you're gonna have to look at it. Do all right. First things first. Are you gonna avert your gaze? For this yeah, round, please, boy. do you avert gaze or not? No. Can we not? Okay. Uh, oh, go yes. Make a con save. He's going for it. One in five chance. Oh. Alright, you're fine. You've been rolling, like... What? Don't <laughs> fucking jinx it! <laughs> <laughs> he has plus nine to con. I mean, yeah, I know, but Garth has plus ten to con. He's still fucked up. <laughs> yeah, he did. Ah, uh, but you're forgetting. I'm rolling. <laughs> okay, and... Uh, <clears throat> it might be a good idea to... Super Saiyan. Go on action search. Alright, you spend your action search for the day. Yep. That is right. Now, <laughs> let's do some basic maths. <laughs> Fuck it. It's six. It's six shots. No, <laughs> no. It's, st it's still the ball one. <laughs> yeah. Hits. It's 13, man. Yep, 13. Oops. Uh, yep. One points. Whoa, fuck. That's minus 11. Puts hit points to 11 there. Uh, yep. Nine damage. Got it. Anything else? Oh, wait, you got your three more. Nope. Does 15 hit? Ooh. Uh, hmm. Let's just take this off. I'll curve that one. Okay. Fuck okay, it. Why not? Spend your bonus action to curve. Teen? Mm, yep. Twelve. All right. And the last two shots. We are brave, boys. We are brave. E okay. Yep. Ooh. Nice. <clears throat> Only huh. plus seven, brave. Oh shit! So that was seventeen. Fifteen oh, misses. Fuck! Yeah. So many arrows. You, okay, yeah, you lit a bunch of arrows in. Oh, six arrows. It's gone. looking very blooded. Oh yes, uh, yeah, that is me. All right, these guys go. Uh oh. Uh, seeing that you guys are two of you are petrified, they might feel a bit ballsy. Might come in. So, uh -oh. this one's gonna see the hedgehog point. Oh, there's a. This one's gonna move here. This one's gonna uh -oh. move here. Holy fuck. On top of guys. This one's gonna spit at Isha, who has been fucking going crazy. Fucking it. 23 to hit. Is he in cover? Is he in cover? Isha. Oh, sorry, Isha, not uh, Epicus. Um, uh, 23 to hit, make a con save. Did he spit at me again? Yeah, oh my god, oh. you've saved every con save. You take 13 points of poison. Oh no, you've changed hey. it now. Yeah, you fuck. Uh, the other one, seeing you absolutely decimate it, is gonna go for you as well, but it misses. 
and... Well, they both spit at me. Yeah, they both spat at you. Oh, fucking hell. Yeah, they're coming for you, it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> Always, the black men's eyes are A shower of acid coming above the balls. come back into range. Epkis is not happy with all the petrifying bullshit. Mm, do you... Epkis is going to cast Finger of Death. Do you... So you don't avert gaze? Um, no. Okay, to make a con save. Hey. Uh... He's done it. Yeah, you're Maybe. fine. So you, okay, just, you steal yourself. Oh, con switch. save on this guy. Do 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 do. He does not make finger it. Finger of death. Uh, 63. So you point your finger and this bolt of black energy zaps it and literally blasts one of its arms off and a huge hole right through it. But it's still standing, barely. It's like... The one on the left or one on the right? Top. Uh, right. Yeah, right. The auto yeah, you literally blooded. blast its arm off with that force and a big hole right through it. Excellent. And it's gargling and <clears throat> all that shit. Is that you? Bluffer. Yes. Damn, Bosner's turn. These things are both looking pretty not healthy after that. Okay. Uh, class Blindness and Deafness on these two at uh, third level. Uh, do you vert gaze? Yes. No, wait, no, I don't. I have to see them. Alright. Con save. Con save. Oh. They look beefy, they might be good. Cut save, cut save, cut save. And. Please! You make it. You cast it Ooh. on. Both of them. Both, okay. Yeah, score third level. So they need to make a. I'm assuming con save? Yes. Yep. Right, left, and right. Uh, left rolls a 15. The right Fail. rolls a 9. Both fail, they're both blind. Alright, they're blind. I shout out, they're blind! Get them! They have the ninja of blindness. <laughs> How long does that shit last, or do they make a save uh, at the end of their turn or something? One minute, or they get to make a save at the end of each of their turns. Got it. Alright. Is that you? Yes. Garv, you're stone. Atara, you're stone. Isha, <laughs> I'm pretty sure... I'm rock, you get I'm rock solid, baby. I'm pretty sure you get advantage against uh, blind creatures. Yeah. Oh, against wait with all attacks. Well, let me just check that. I'm pretty sure you do. Or melee attacks. I think it's. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Blinded. I mean, they never see it coming. A so. blind creature automatically fails any checks that require sights. Attack rolls against a creature of advantage, and the creature's attack rolls have disadvantage. So, you have advantage. Okay. Uh, well, I have my bow out, so. Yeah. Might as well try and go for the left one because she's blooded. Yep. You can see its front legs pawing out its eyes. 18? Yeah, that hits. That was oh. just enough damage. Eh. <laughs> minimum damage. Yeah, yep. minimum damage. It kills it. Blasts through the center of its skull and it exits the other end and it flops to the ground. The other two shots against the other one. Mm hmm. Uh, yeah, Bosner is not tall enough to. Hits. Uh, that's gonna be enough, yeah. Oh, nice. double tap, you get them both. This one's looking fucked, it's got holes in it anyway, and its arms being blasted off by a finger of death. But you finish it off right below the jaws, it rears its head back, and all the way up through its head. And everything appears dead. Would you look at that? We did it. Only. We continue on. <laughs> do, do you not wanna. Please pick them up. The like uh, uh, Adara's shade is like hopping around on Adara's like statue cell, trying to peck her, oh, I'm trying gosh. to get her awake. Like pick, pick, pick. Fuck's oh. sake! Voice rolling. I'm gonna start charging for this shit. This is expensive. <laughs> uh, hey, at least not all of us this time. Yeah, I'd, I'd had a first. Okay. Great restoration. How much does that shit cost? Uh. Oh, wait a minute. Shit. Guess what I've not repaired. <laughs> well, you haven't repaired. repaired. Oh, you haven't I prepared it. I, I de-prepared no, it this morning. No. Okay. So you're uh, like, alright, rub your hands together. 
Ah, here Damn we go man. again. Ah, shit. Here we go again. Ah, shit. <laughs> and then you're just like, <laughs> oh, never mind. Your friends so are caught in their poses. Oh, shit. At least I wow. shouldn't start sawing it like I hit me. <laughs> I wanna touch yeah, Garvin. Is he still hot? Tomorrow. No, he is not hot. Oh, oh, he is warm. Dragon. Look warm. Oh. Uh, it costs 100 GP. Of diamonds. Whatever it takes, dog. Just save them. Yeah, but I can't <laughs> do it till tomorrow. Oh. It's fine. I'll try my best. And I'll put my hands off. <laughs> Don't you dare. Don't you dare. <laughs> I've what? seen this before. I've Wait, seen this Jop, before. You're, you're petrified, sir. <laughs> can't say anything. <laughs> What are you oh. doing? Now give me the light! <laughs> Let your pyro through me! Uh, Can I touch him? But you oh, don't- what? You don't use a spell what? or anything? Nope. <laughs> uh, okay. You touch him and nothing happens. Oh, thank god. <laughs> I tried, boy. You don't think- You, you think to yourself, Illustrate does not want to save this man right now. <laughs> She's busy. Oh. Surface stuff. <laughs> she hasn't got the spell <laughs> prepared either. <laughs> <laughs> you shall remember it. Yeah. Okay then, well, Epkis, can you grab Adhara? You should. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll grab uh, Gar and we'll, uh, we'll drag him back into the tunnel, we'll find somewhere safer. Hmm. And we'll tomorrow. I'm gonna try and, like, not like, shake it, but kind of, like, get a feel for how heavy the statue is. <laughs> Uh, it is immensely dense and very heavy. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to manage this. Oh, shit. I'm not sure you're going to be able to manage that. You know what? They're not going to go anywhere, are they? No, they're not. No, oh, thank like... you. <laughs> <laughs> we just got to catch the bird. <laughs> yeah, the bird's just pecking away, trying to wake up. <laughs> chip it over chip it over yeah, ch there's, yeah, there's a little bit of a chip. Well, who's got, who's got no. animal handling? Probably the one of the people's stone. Yeah, the one that's stone. Oh well. <coughs> it's, I mean, it, it's really working on that horn, and there's like a hairling crack. The what again? Sorry, I'm gonna try and raise oh, raise no, my hand a little bit very slowly towards the arrow to try and get it like to stop Yeah. 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 It seems uh, very sad and desperate. All right. Yeah, you managed to calm it down enough. Because it kind of likes you, you get the feeling, for some reason. You're like, oh, weird. Champ. weird. Does anyone know if there's a way of uh, taking the basilisk venom and making us something out of it that'll cure the... No medication? idea. No, but that gave me an idea. Can I drain <laughs> some basilisk saliva? Acid, whatever they have. You can try. I will attempt. All right, pick one. Uh, right one. That one's closer. All right. Wait, that one has a hole in its fucking. Guess it won't matter. <laughs> most of it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> most of it. Uh, make. What the fuck? Uh... Survival check. Yikes. Will I get an advantage? Cause I'm in the other door. <laughs> <laughs> Every anytime you try and do some persuasion check, uh do good advantage because I'm a new <laughs> I'm in an good. Under arc. <laughs> That's good uh, for the new meme. Uh you pierce its venom glands and they spill out and you take a couple points of poison damage. Uh okay. but that's all. You've wasted it and it's spilled out onto the floor and Fuck. unusable at this point. You couldn't collect it from this one. You could try on the other one. Can we give it a bash? Give it another roll. <laughs> I'm assuming you have vials that. and stuff to like actually collect this stuff. Yeah, I have empty ones. Okay. Because I, I you, wanted to prepare you, the other poison. You get the feeling this venom's pretty potent as well. Like from the damage yeah. it was dealing to you guys. And you guys were resisting it. For the most part. Wait, okay. We're gonna big brain this. How should we do this? Also, in the quiet, you hear uh, in the corner of the cavern up ahead where you can't see, there's like vague sounds of water. Oh, I can see that. Like a small stream. 
into a pool. Right, okay, I'll attempt to um, collect two vials worth of thing because that's the only ones I have. So, big yikes. So you have two vials on you. Two empty ones at least. Okay. Go ahead and make a survival check. Mm. The other one is you're going around, your friends are petrified, you're like, eh, barely. I'll try and collect some shit. Please, for the love of God. That's gonna be an old dog, and you actually take. <laughs> oh, let's see here. Where is it? Uh, make a con save. Yikes. Yikes. Uh, okay, you take 26 points of poison damage as it bursts and it splashes all over your face and body. Hey, at least I'm not stone. Shots fired. <laughs> we couldn't hog all the controls. So. Right, I'll. You guys find yourself in this peculiar cave where these dudes were hanging. What would you like to do? Can I investigate the. that obnoxious sigil in the beginning? Beginning? In the middle of the. Sure, you walk up to the middle. And you'll probably be able to see your periphery. Uh, let me see what you've seen. I mean, you probably see the rest. Everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah you gotta keep vision. Uh, so yeah, there's a little pool, there's a stream over to the left. And over to the right, in the far back corner, mm -hmm. uh, there appears to be a strange structure, it looks like. It looks like a robot. Uh, yeah, it's kind of hard to make out, but there's something that uh, catches your eye about it. You can't oh. see from this distance, but you look at the sigils on the ground, and yeah, you have to like wipe some old dust away. You can tell these things have made uh, been chilling here for a bit. It looks like uh, you can see, like patches where their their venom's been. And looking around now, you see a bunch of petrified rodents littering the ground. Yes. Something which Garv missed with his botched investigation check. Uh, so yeah, you can tell this is where they summon up old air elementals, or where they used to anyway. Oh, this this, this is a summoning circle. Looks like it, something like that. Huh? And you say it was twenty feet up. Oh, uh, the ceiling. Yeah, it's like twenty, yeah. twenty-five feet high. <laughs> These pillars basically reach the top, and then one of them's fallen over and broken. I'm also gonna have a cheeky wee look around. Can we walk up to the circle? Yeah, yeah. You see the same stuff. There's uh, the pool, the circle, the pillars, and off in the back corner, some strange. What well, I don't know. It looks like rubble on the screen, but uh, there's something weird about it. Uh, it's like arranged yeah, no. in a like circle. I'm not about I have a look oh yeah, okay. Room. Gotcha. All right. Oh yeah, sorry. I forgot you had shit. You shit your dark vision. Yeah, go <laughs> going up. Oh, wait, did you say you were going to have a look? Yeah, um, I'll uh, cautiously right. approach the suspicious looking robo there. <laughs> Alright, let's see, I've got my notes here. Um... Okay, walking over. Uh, you see, it looks like pulverized stone, but it looks like it's arranged, oddly, into almost a basin, a small basin. And in it are... Uh... Yeah, in it appear to be three large, hmm, for lack of a better word, they are like boulders, but, alright, they're, <laughs> alright, they're egg shaped, uh Oh. and they are, they are about six inches in diameter, they're quite big, but, not like insane. Uh, six inches in diameter, from what you can see. And yeah, there's three of them sort of leaning against each other in the middle of this basin made of pulverized stone. This weird structure. And the eggs are stone as well? Or are they just they, eggs? You've had, do you want to have a look? Oh, oh boy. 
Oh, I think my dog needs out. She's coming up to me. Two seconds. Alright. Make a nature check. Mm, not sure. Yikes. They look like smooth, egg shaped boulders almost, but they. they mimic. It, they look like they're made of stone, but it's hard to see without like fucking around with it too much. Just with the eyes on it, that's what you can tell. Yeah. It gives off that appearance. And there's only three. Yeah, there's three. Hey, you know, six inch diameter, that's not crazy. You get the poor quid. Alright. <laughs> I thought that was feet. I'm like, no, no, he's no. just like big fucking eggs. They're small. They're like... <laughs> it's like two <laughs> meters <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Casually. Some big bones. You know, you, you can uh, cup, you could cup your hands around it. Almost. Ah. Like ostrich eggs size, I guess. I mean... Is there any... Like, you know... Well, you don't know, but... I mean, I don't know, but you know. Uh -huh. How the... Purple worms had the saliva on the eggs. Is there anything else? Uh, Remarkably similar? No, they don't appear to have any kind of like uh, liquidy substance or anything on them. They appear to be like dry stone almost. But For yeah, a lack of a better uh, plan just now. It gives off the impression of a nest. And you can see these gems in the wall also, about 15 feet up, and they're embedded all around. Alright, sorry, I'm back. Aye. Sure. Yeah. As a precaution, I would like to put them three eggs into a bag of coding. Okay. You put the three eggs into your bag of coding. Yep. Mm -hmm. As a precaution. Anything else? Uh, Bosner, what's popping? Nothing. <laughs> I'm sitting watching over the, the two dead guys. I mean, I stone people for a bit. No, no, please, not dead again. <laughs> I just love right. it. Up. I don't want to be dead again. It's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> Can I walk up to the war and see? Is it is it underground war, like coming from the bomb? Or is there like a waterfall dripping there? No, there's like a small stream that leads into this natural pool that's formed. And it looks, uh, it's, it's only about f five, six feet deep. It's pretty shallow. And is there any other visible ways out of this cavern? Make a perception check. I shall do that. Don't fail me now. Uh, looking around, no, it doesn't look like it. It's like a dead end. So, this is a stupid question. I assume the big fucking sub sigil circle is like still visible on the ground here. Yep. Yep. Mm. Oh yeah, what language is that? Uh, looks runic. Hard to tell. Can I read it? Can it be classes writing? Uh... It does. <laughs> Technically, I'll see. Make an arcana check. Why not? Wheel. Just him. I mean, <clears throat> if you want, you can do one. I, mean, if you I ask for a link. If you give a maybe shit. I can decipher it. Yikes! No, I no. don't care. No. You're like, <laughs> oh man, what's that shit? In case you're not sure. What, you, you can't tell what it says or anything, but you get the idea that it is some kind of uh, mixture of conjuration and like transmutation or something. That's like the school. Right. That's like the vibes you're getting. The schools. Uh, so it definitely falls in line with the purpose of anti anti mox boon, 
which is to, which is essentially, this is when you first heard of this and when Yantha first mentioned this, uh, it is basically a, uh, not summon the circle, it's a quarry, you know, Yantha was working at that quarry when you guys first encountered her, this is like yeah. a magically infused quarry with all these spell gems around the outside, it seems. To reinforce the power of their elf elementals and longevity, because they obviously don't last forever. But she mentioned this previously. All right. So I guess now there's no other business aside from just fucking camping out. Yeah, like I said, you guys took so long because of Isha getting here that you know it's about time to hang out and camp anyway. If you want to, if you want to camp here, that's up to you. I mean, don't suppose there's any other way out of the cavern, so we may as well. No, I checked. There's only one. But then, that's where the spendables are. Wait, did you put all three eggs in the bag of coal there? Yep. yep. Okay. I, I don't need no fucking egg hatch on my site. You can infer that they are, in fact, basilisk eggs. Yep. Did we... A bit... It says 20 pounds, which I guess in kilograms is like a third. Almost half. Or a half, whatever. Mm -hmm. So yeah, they're not like insanely heavy because they're not big. But you might Nine kilograms, yeah. Yeah. I put it down on my spreadsheet. Yep, yeah, three basilisk eggs. Luckily, Adara wasn't awake for that. She'd be right on that. She's gonna spell it on me. Like you've been touching Silas ask. Oh. Alright, right. so you guys camp for the night? Uh, yes. Yes. yeah. I'm just gonna take, set up shop running right next to the statues sure. of our comrades. <laughs> the statues. Uh, I like how you, they're dehumanized already. I'm gonna statues. hang out with the statues. I'm, I'm just gonna keep an eye out for it. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, I would just like. Uh, oh, I an want eye to. Out. Yep. I want to keep an eye towards the war. All right, you do that. Back. Yeah, I'm going to be keeping an eye out the whole time. Cause... Yeah, you don't need to sleep. Just roll me a perception check, each of you. Ew! Oh fuck. Because <laughs> I can meditate. I don't need no fucking sleep. Jesus Christ. Oh. God, we should the bed. Ah. Uh, <laughs> damn. Can I make a three natural ones in a row? So, That's you, question. you guys sleep through... The yes! Oh my god, he did! <laughs> 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 what the fuck? But dude, just, just for the sake of it. <clears throat> Alright, anyway. Yeah, uh, you guys don't notice anything throughout the night, but you aren't attacked or caught off guard, so there's that. Uh, but you didn't pick up on anything in particular, I will say. It is the next day. You have all rested. Um, you can choose good. your spells for well. today. <laughs> yeah. And regain yeah, your slots. Rested apart from the petrified ones. XP, lol. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's added an unnecessary 20 minutes onto the game. <laughs> so, uh, you guys are up and rested. Your friends are still statues. You haven't come across any more basilisks. Appears these guys might be the only residents here. And oh, no. maybe there's some reason they're drawn here. Maybe there's something about it. But what would you like to do? That. Damn, a diamond worth at least 100 gold pieces. Alright. So, you, do you do it on both? Yeah. Alright, 200 gold oh, worth yeah. of diamond. And you guys are freed from your statue states, your petrified states. As Bosner puts his hands over you. Who do, he, who do you do first, just out of interest? Adhara. Oh, actually, I, I do Adhara first and ask. Adhara, do you have uh, great restoration? No. Do you have it? No. Oh, okay. 
There we go. <laughs> And when I come back, Jordan, I'm gonna look for my javelins. Sorry, you got a bit. Um, of, you got a bit of a headache. Yeah. Once you did go, I want to give uh, Bosna the, you know, the moldy pouch of full of gems that I found. Oh yeah. Okay. In the thing. Yeah, yeah. In the grave. It, it, it might be that there is something useful, like I don't know. Maybe this diamond. Do I play my job, Jordan? You may make a investigation check. What diamond you got? Diamond. Uh, I've got gems. Yeah, it, it, there's no diamond, but there is gems. There's a small pouch full of gems, and there is also some kind of potion in there. Not well, the potion I keep. All right. All right. That wasn't part of the deal. Uh, yeah. yeah, you find your javelin, it's uh, literally, you, you, the, you go over to the nest, and you see it wedged between two small rocks, sticking out. So, so what's in the, the what, how many gems are there, what is there? Uh, uh, he knows, it just said that he's old, more devout gems. Yeah. I can tell you, oh, if you check him out. Gems. Let's see... Do, 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 oh, cool. do, do, I've got do, lots of gems. Do. I've got a gargoyle diamond. <laughs> don't know what the fuck that is. It's a diamond that the gargoyle dropped. Yeah, but... Yeah, that's the uh, when you fought the adamantine tower. We have no diamonds. Um, can I go and check the... The pool of water? Yeah. So we'll lose quite... There are six gems in the pouch. Uh, okay, you go over and check out the water. What do you want to do? It's about shallow, shallow pool, five feet deep, and a small stream, almost like a fountain. I want to see if there is anything on the bottom. Mm -hmm. uh, make a perception check. You die. Uh, looking around, you don't see anything weird or suspicious. In the pool. Does it look like it's just still water or it's coming from somewhere? I mean, it, it's coming from some kind of source. It's not stagnant because there's a small stream like pouring into it. Okay. It's like coming out of the wall, basically. Uh, so. so uh, apart from the water crack, is there any other crack around the wall? Or? Uh, not really, but you do, again, you notice the gems which are at 10 feet intervals between each other and they're all in perfect line, 15 feet off the ground. And they all appear to be rubies. Mm. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, what do we need to get for... The guy, or the alchemist. We need to find them where Antimox Spoon is. Yeah, but what did he want from here? No idea. <laughs> Probably the magic. Well, yeah, but he's not the only one. Didn't he want it cleared out? Is this it? I went it. Is that? We're sure this is it. I mean, I hope so. There's a. I just got turned to stone again. Yeah, I should probably stop doing that. <laughs> I'll try. I'll try. Yeah, I don't like it. Just don't get turned to stone, lol. Lol. Go on, what's man. what's the deal with the sigil on the floor? What's <laughs> uh, the sigil on the floor? I have well, no idea. There's nothing. I there. guess the sigil on the floor is used to create the earth elementals. Or at least to create them here, where they're more empowered. Are these uh, the ones we want, though? Are these the earth elementals we like, or the ones we hate? No, they're the good ones. You're not creating them. I mean, I know we're not creating them. Yeah. So... Where else can we go, Jordan? Like I said, like another... Is it the cave keep going, I take it? No. 
Yeah. Slow it up. We might need to dive on. Yeah. Should we just go back and report to the? Are we the sure this is it? A man, a man goes to peer over the water, and then he looks in the water. Does it look safe to swim in? Um, I mean, as far as a six foot tall guy can swim in a five foot pool. Okay, well, oh, very oh, 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 very safe then. <laughs> <saying that. laughs> yeah. There's some floaters. <laughs> okay, maybe not. No. This is clearly a drinking source for uh, the creatures you just massacred. Hey, they started. Yeah, they started. <laughs> they started. I'm, hey, I'm right? not taking. I'm not taking sides. This is this is bothering me. See these creatures that turn things to stone. Yep. How do they eat? They just turn all the food to stone. <laughs> That's just shut well, the apparently, <laughs> apparently they don't because they turned all the rats into stone. Yeah. There you go. Maybe they just like the crunch, dude. They should that. die of starvation. Well, they died of us. It's like the Midas touch. How the fuck did you do anything? Well, maybe they're vegetarian. Died of you guys like half of the Underdark. At this point. <laughs> yeah, some okay. directly, some indirectly. Mostly directly. Anyway. Occasionally, yeah. all at once. Has anyone stepped inside the sigil yet? Yep, yeah, I'd assume you guys probably milled about a bit. Had a look at the runes, so yeah. So all you did that make a wisdom. Oh, I'm just kidding. I didn't. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> the lead wisdom here. Throw back to. Go uh, back and report to the uh, yeah. the mama talks, the mama talks, the mama talks. That dagger talks. That one. I'm yeah. 100 certain this is it. In which case, it was where it was in the map. So yeah, you should be fine. Okay. I won't take any blame for this. I say we head back. Um, I know this is a pain in the ass, but Garv and Atara aren't rested. That's fine. That's I fine. know. I'm fine. That's uh. At some point, we're going to take a point of exhaustion. Yeah, but we're pretty, pretty close to where the, the the city is. There's a mile or two out. Yeah. It's not far out. It'll be fine. Who the fuck did not find it? It's only a mile or two out. Oh yeah, how I wonder. Yeah, fuck sake. Well, they, they clearly didn't want to find it because they knew that there was something here. Useless fucks. <laughs> anyway, by the time we get back. Are we sure it's cleared? Are we sure that there's no more of these buggers about? Well, are, am I turned to stone yet? No. I'm... Well, we weren't attacked in the night, so... You know, what I want to do is that I, I put one of the basilics into my bag. What? One so of, we can prove one of the, one of the small. Yeah. What? So we what? can prove to the Dharma, Dharma Matox, Dharma Tox, whatever. Dagger Matox. That, that one, <laughs> we killed them. Fair enough. He's gonna yoink a whole fucking basilisk body back. Yeah, but a small one. It's okay. like medium it's creature. Like so it's fine. What? I don't wanna know. Okay, so you're putting a basilisk into your bag of holding. Yeah, the little one. Okay. Uh, the... One little basilisk. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, they're medium they're creatures. They're medium creatures, they're like... The size of us. Oh, would it not fit? Okay, uh... I just... Garv, can you cut the head? I don't think they're going to care as much about it as a Medusa. I think they'll believe us if we say Basque. Or take a fang at least or something. Let, 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 let's just take a head. I'll go over to the big boy, Jordan, and I'll oh, try no. and put a, a, rip a fang out. Wait, hang on, you know the fucking big boy that I blasted with Finger of Death, how I blasted his arm off? Mm -hmm. Is that arm around, or is it just like a completely fucking vaporized. Well, I guess that that arm is as big as the small basilisk. I will rip a fang out. You know, you're not wrong, to be honest. Oh, uh, yeah. I'll fang out one of the... 
big ones or Yeah, uh, big one. Sure, just make a just make a strength check for here. Well Yeah, easy enough. You rip a big fang out. Do you keep it? I will keep it. Okay. I'll put another one to take back. Let's go back. <laughs> I wanted a little basilisk head. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Because you, know they're gonna, you know they're gonna ask, like, oh, you, how can you prove there were basilisks there? We have a basilisk fang. Yeah, but if that it, can be anything's fang. Well, if I stab them with them and they get poisoned, oh no. Yeah, Very okay. sad. I am not dragging a basilisk back to a town of civilization. I might come from a tribe, but I'm not that oh. stupid. All right, all right, all right. Okay, fang. Let's go. All right. So, you guys leaving? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, we'll go back. What are you laughing at? Hey. Just the minutia <laughs> of your guys' like decisions. Just getting caught up in the minutia. It's, it's funny. <laughs> I love the word minutia. It entertains me, so it's all good. All right, you guys. Um, hey, don't turn us into stones. I That's never turned way. anyone into zones. I'm just God. I did the dice that. Yeah, it wasn't me. <laughs> Alright, you guys leave. Uh, a couple of you still feeling a bit tired. Um, by the time you get back, you won't have it. You won't have to take a point of exhaustion just yet, but it'll be shortly. Um, who is leading the way back? Guess me. All right. I'll make a survival check with advantage. Damn. Damn. All right. Yeah. You kind of recognize in the near area at this point after getting lost for a while, almost. Not quite lost because you can't get lost because I'm a ranger. So. Uh, I'm not a ranger. No, you, Isha. Um. You guys make it eventually to the. F uh, you find a road which leads you back to Blinding Stone. Uh, after a couple hours, and you make it to the front steps. Walk your way up the steps, and you're at the front gates, to which the guards recognize you. Um, do you say anything to them, or are you just. Hello! <laughs> We're back! You see the same ones there, the one that first greeted you guys and put Krema on you. Uh, he kind of has a sour pus. He's got like this permanent friend marks uh, across his face. And he just looks at you grumpily and just like grumbles to his subordinates or whatever to open up the gate. And um, yeah, he's just like, kind of grumbling to himself all under his breath, like muttering. And the gates open and uh, he escorts you through and through the maze and all that shit you've been through this before takes you to inner Blinkenstone where you are now in the main area the hub where would you like to go to the dark Diamatosk Diamatox why can I not say that <laughs> Dagamathox? The Alchemist? No. No, that too. No. The Alchemist. The Alchemist wanted it, so... He's the one we needed to talk to first, wasn't it? He was Everybody our main objective. Wants it. And I think that's why we need to think about who we tell first. Well, to be fair... The... The city is pretty busy with other attacks right now out in other places and sending attacks everywhere. I think for better telling the, the archivist first, he gets he gets a sort of thing we came here for in the first place. We didn't come here to be. He said he'd find us with him. Which kinda worries me, honestly. That's kind of that's a sort of thing that spooks me. I don't really want to find a mask. 
Well, what's your... How do you want to fight the Demon Lords? You want to just roll up and tell them, go away, don't come back. Uh. Where there's ten masks, there's Demon Lords. Or evil. That's our conquest though, we're here to stop evil. Best way to stop evil is fucking kill it. <laughs> Am I right? And I, like, I turned to the boys, I'm like, I'm alright, but... <laughs> what do you believe that killing demons is the whole reason we're here? That's the reason I'm here. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And now, uh, look, guys, we've, come, we've got the brain and the brawn. Okay, then let's go tell the alchemist. How do we find the alchemist? I think we go Grin. back to your, I think we go back to Bosner's friend. Grin was his name? Yes. Grin. If we see Grin, he should be able to get us in touch with it. Oh, can we cut his face? Oh, we'll have to. No, yeah, you promised him that. Don't be a dick and don't do it, dude. Well, yeah, we should probably see your son, considering the fact that it's been... Uh, about 12, well, probably about... I say about 16 hours. We should be okay by now. I think you should take gold off him as well. I don't think he's spent it. Fit. What if he's dead? He won't be dead. <laughs> he just passed out and then he never woke up. Sharp, you. <laughs> Tappy would have taken care of him. It's fine. Yeah, Let's Tappy go. was taking care of him. Yeah. Should you try Tappy? Uh, alright. So, uh, where are you heading just now? Pub. Pub, yeah. Pub, paints. The foaming mug. Mm. Mug. Alright. That one. Uh, you start heading down. It is paints o'clock. And, uh... You... Hmm. Okay. Uh, Garv and Adara, I will say make a con save. Oh boy. For example... <laughs> we turned the stone again. No, for example, yeah. Wow, alright, you're fine. Yeah, you guys are okay. Oh, now I'm rolling okay! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it doesn't fucking matter. You guys, are, you guys aren't exhausted. Uh, you're, you're feeling okay. You're still tired, but... You know, you're, you're still sharp enough. Um... Hmm. Let's see, so you walk this way, probably. Alright, yeah, you walk for a wet, and you eventually, you're, you're getting familiar with the streets, and not really streets, the tunnels and the residential area, and after some time walking, you do make it to the foaming mug. Uh, there, as you walk in through the swinging doors, you see a... <laughs> You do see Kriv, uh, bent, kind of bent over a t on a table, drinking out of a mug, we're not sure what, and he doesn't seem to be in good shape, and Grin is in his usual spot, straighter style. I'll go check on Kriv and see, you're softened, lad. Yeah, well, while he's doing that, I'm going to speak with Grin. Yeah, he's literally just like... I'm just gonna sit next to Bosman. Oh, he's suffering. You learned your lesson. He says, oh, "Don't do drugs." What do you expect? You left me. I'd fuck all to do. It's been a while. <laughs> I need to drown my sorrows. Yeah, use beer like a normal person. I was, I was not doing it. <laughs> just was not doing it. And it was that fucking crazy cunt at the bazaar. So, ah, you can the boy give you that jump. Yeah. Mm. One with the voice. What? The one with the voice. <laughs> what one was it? The crazy one, oh, the alchemist. Alchemist. Right. Uh, he was at the bazaar. He was at the bazaar. Ah, it's got a stall there. Uh, they they tell anyone else. Uh -huh. About his, his secret stash. 
I don't think it's above board. Yeah, probably not, because yeah, you no. see what it does. Is this... Ah, well... I never hurt anyone, so... I mean... It's fine. Fine. You, you called me an ape. Don't worry, he'll be out here soon enough, eh? Get you back no, we didn't call you an ape, he called his dad the ape. <laughs> oh yeah, you called me an ape. Why do you think I was an ape? Have you seen shit? He just makes a face at you like... Alright, mate. Whatever you say. You know the face. <laughs> right. Well, have fun with your fair heat. Uh, yeah, you can see whatever he's drinking. I mean, it's water. <laughs> <laughs> it's clear. Yeah. And he uh, says, uh, it, yeah. he says, Do you lock me in my room? Yeah, you're locked in your fucking room, you tit. And I walk over to Grin. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, Adara, you walked over to Grin and stuff. Okay, so you guys approach Grin. Adara, did you want to say anything first? No, I just sit on the on the same table as him, looking very tired. Yeah. He kinda, he's sat very poised. He has his arms folded over uh, on the table. Doesn't have a book this time. Flicking through, he's not flicking through any books or anything. Uh, he seems to be oh. sipping on something. I just read my head on my hands. Yeah, and he looks like he, and he he's, looks like he's studying you or something. It's weird. He's like staring at you intently. I'll stare back. Yep, and then Bosner just approaches. <laughs> At this point, I've sat down and got a drink. Yeah, I, I think it's just uh, Bosner and Nadara who have approached Grim. Yeah, oh, I'm. I'm not. All right, Garvis will. Cool. Yeah, we found the. Entomox spoon. It wasn't that hard. I don't know why it's been lost for so long. He says, uh. Hmm. How did you find it? It was full of shit. <laughs> Lot yeah. of basilisks. Yeah, basilisks. A, a ghost told you where it was. And. Absurd. This ghost. A nice ghost. Uh, uh, and you're sure you found the boon? How can you be certain? Right, I don't know. I'm told it's the place. I think it might be. It was a giant glowing sigil on the floor that looked pretty. It was where the ghost said it was, and there's a giant glowing sigil on the floor. As Garf said from across the room. <laughs> I, I came with you, by the way. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, I did. Am I on the. <laughs> From where I'm sitting, can I actually still hear the conversation? Yeah, it's only, yeah, like, probably. There's only four people in there, there's, the, there's like, just us in the bar, so it's like... Yeah. At which point I, I can shout over, or like, say loudly over to the people in the corner that this, the skills of magic lined up with creating earth elementals. It had to be the place. What do you say? Uh... Yeah, he'll, he looks over you guys. And... Looks at you, Bosner, specifically, and holds eye contact with you for a few seconds. Looks back at Ipkiss, looks back at you, and then says, Very well. I say, I... Oh, yeah, and uh, let's see if this works. And uh, about your eye and your stuff, you know. Do you, and, uh... like, reach out or something? Yeah. He recoils. He recoils right away. Grin, come on, come on. In a defensive way. Come here. I need to, I need to hold your face for this. He says, what are you doing? I'm gonna fix your face. Hopefully, it might work. He says, I don't know any skills of magic which can repair such a thing. Of course, of, uh, of course there is. <laughs> uh, make, a, uh, make a persuasion check. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna end up holding him down and fucking pushing it. Yeah. He's not exactly. I you you, guys aren't exactly you want me to tight. grapple him for you? <laughs> Mm -hmm. fine. Yeah. With my you guys not two. accost the fucking man. He, yeah, he, he, you guys are like, you know, he's not exactly like I said tight with you, Bosner, or anything like that. He puts his hand up and he says, "It's fine." I grab his hand and I cast regenerate. <laughs> uh, okay, make a, make a slight of hand check. Just touch him. Slight of hand. What? No, no, just a. Okay, so You're trying to grab him real quick. I just have to touch him. I don't have to like. 
All right, a dex check then. Yeah, a dex check. It's the same thing, like. But... Yeah, same touch, thing. Touch his lap. Like <laughs> <laughs> if you're going to rape him. Uh, Whoa! <laughs> uh, go no need for the fan he, fiction. Yeah, he recoils <laughs> just in time for you to miss. Ah, fuck off! He's, and you lose as well. He is. He's. He starts what cast time <laughs> one minute. Oh yeah, casting about to go. Oh wow! <laughs> it's yeah, gonna you're slowly like... casting, and he's like, just watching you, and he's like, seriously, it's... I don't want to fucking waste a spell, man. Just grab my hand. He says, it's fine. It's a reminder to be careful who you trust. And then looks over the rest of your companions and you. I, I feel him deep down. He says, I trusted your previous companions and received this scar. Yeah. They're all dead, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> Can I inside check him? For... Me? No, it's green. What do you want to inside check for? To see if he's telling the truth. Okay, yeah. Yep, you get the you get the impression that uh, some of Bosner's previous allies are responsible for his uh, deformed eye, scarred over eye. Yeah, I say Tom in response to that. I'm like. Uh, of what you're dealing in, kid. Losing an eye is the least of your worries. We could all lose so much if we fail this mission. He says, um... <laughs> he says, yes, listen to the big one. Don't bother with this. Uh, I'll get in touch with Kazook. Stay here for a moment. Oh. And, uh... He oh, just... if you could ask him to bring something to fix the lad. From what he did to him. Uh, he says, this does not concern me. I got fish to fry, Buster. Literally what I just said. <laughs> yeah, no in certain terms, that's basically what he says. Yeah, well. And he, uh... You know, you recognize the sentence spell. He begins conjuring it up around the table, small sigils, and then uh, closes his eyes and begins. Uh, after like a few moments pass, he opens his eyes again. Well, yeah, he has the illusion of another eye, so he opens them up. What is going on with Red Bull? I have no idea. Uh, I'm just going to stop him. There we go. So. Opens his eyes and he says, uh, "If anyone's still nearby, he'll alert you that Kazook will be here shortly." And uh, anything you guys want to do in the meantime? I'll pretend I fall asleep on the floor. Oh, it's Discord. Fuck's sake. Really? Yeah. Let me change the server and see if that helps. Uh, Alright, we good? Hello. Hello. I think so. I think we're good. Ah. Alright. Here's a pog. Uh, so sorry, what was that you oh. wanted to do before Kazook shows up? I uh, pretend to fall asleep on the table. <laughs> uh, sure, roll a deception. Fuck it. Pretend. Charisma. <laughs> 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 so you're literally your head's on the table and you're like one eye slightly open and you're going <sighs> like so obviously fake snoring and it, you guys are just like witnessing this <laughs> like, not us Gav, Gav just like looks at her like and it just looks back like across the table and just like nudges her way like it's like onto the table <laughs> you tappy like yeah it with you if kiss he kind of walks over to the end of the bar and he's like, uh, is your friend alright there? Which one? Uh, <laughs> the one that's clearly pretending to be asleep. Yeah, she's just strange. I think she's maybe trying to get to sleep, I don't know. 
you know, you have beds upstairs. I'd holler. Mm. Go to bed. No. <laughs> okay, whatever. I'm not well, tired. Get your head off the table then. <laughs> no response. Um, no contention. I'm pretending to be asleep. Do you say that out loud? <laughs> you... no, I'll say that to you. Great, out loud though, yeah. <laughs> um, so, if you guys have nothing else you want to do, uh, some moments pa uh, some time passes, um, about an hour, and then you hear the swinging of the doors as you're all sat in near silence, having various drinks and such, and it is Kazook, the little crazy alchemist guy with the crazy eyes <laughs> and the goggles, and he comes in, and he's like, "So you did it? Here to go? Where'd you find it?" I don't know how you didn't find it, honestly. It's, it's well, come actually, on, that's not fair. It's pretty close to the city. He says, oh, oh, look, I'm a, I'm a busy man. I don't have time to go looking around <laughs> outside. I, it literally stands out in the middle of the Underdark. <laughs> yeah, what, is there signs or, or... I could literally you know show what? you the map. You know what, I don't even care. It's nothing to do with me. This is just... Uh, you know, the ends just by the means here. I'm just a middleman. It's not a big deal. It's uh, the stone hearts and all them lot. They're the ones who are bothered. I just want the reclaim. I just want to reclaim that lab and what's in it. So, yeah, save uh, it. We'll it's fine. Yeah. Okay. Right. On to the Tim. Tim masks. Sure. 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 I always said ten hats. Sure, 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 sure. And he's just like, yeah, sure, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you still pretending to be asleep at our... No. He says, a deal is a deal is a deal. And then he catches your son, like, lurking around in the back. And he's like, oh, Ed, did you... And then he kind of kind of looks away and puts his hand up and he says uh, was it good? and he's just like ignoring him and he's like hmm alright anyway and uh, he says give me your map do you hand him? yeah alright let's see I might have a map made up for you here actually player map 4 Actually, I'm at three point one. Actually, it's called something else. Actually, actually, <laughs> actually, guys, uh, I will share this with everyone in all players' journals. Uh, Yay! So I have four maps. <laughs> I can delete the other ones for you. Uh, here. <laughs> so he, as he hands you the map, uh, as you hand him the map, he starts marking out. He puts uh, markings on an area in like the southeast, and uh, he says, uh, "This is where you'll find your tin masks." And he hands you the map. <laughs> that's a fucking. That's bigger than the Dark Lake. What the hell? He says, oh, we, we were there. Were we not? We were there. He says, this is a, a place called Aramaikos. It's the biggest living organism on this planet. And Great. within it, you'll we're... find the rarest of fungi and all sorts. You'll find your tin okay. masks there. Or do you mean organism? It's a fungus. It's a big mushroom. Yeah, I mean, I want it's the see... biggest living thing. I want to see if he's telling the truth. Or if he believes that he's telling the truth. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, roll insight. Nope. Yeah. Definitely telling the truth. Yeah, you 100% believe him. It's so truthful. <laughs> you should trust him blindly. <laughs> I want to incite Jacob as well, actually. I'm not too convinced. Alright. Go ahead. After what I've seen them do the guard. Oh! Uh, okay, with a crit. You get the feeling he is very... The way he's like marking out the maps and stuff for you guys, it seems like he's in a hurry. For a start, you get that feeling. You know, he's trying to get this over with. And uh, But other than that, he doesn't seem... Hmm. Let, me, let me make a roll. Okay, yep, he doesn't seem to be deceiving you, it seems. Um, what else can I tell you? I mean, crit. But like, yeah, you get the you get the feeling he's uh, not duping you or anything. He does. He seems a bit sketch, but <coughs> o honorable, I guess. It's definitely trustworthy. Yeah, you get the idea. He's not. Hundred percent. You get the idea that he's not all there, and it's probably all the chemicals he fucks around with and. Uh, you know, various substances that you might abuse, or use, or sell, <laughs> or test. Like a, a hatter. Like a what? A hatter. A hatter? Yeah, you know, people that were making hats. Oh, alright. Yeah. They were going mad it. because of the fume of the chemicals. Mercury poison. Alright, oh, right. This is some lore I'm not privy to. Nice. It's IRL lore. Good lore. Air floor is my favourite lore. It's <laughs> most detailed anyway. Uh, it was fleshed out. Yeah. So you get that from your crit insight. You're like, you're thinking to yourself, hmm, this guy's sketch. But he seems like he's telling the truth. Okay. And you know, with the whole crit thing, yeah, he obviously deals in some like black market shit. Drugs, it looks like. Uh, okay, I'll like... And you, I guess with that, you notice... Nah, never mind. Uh, nah, never mind. Oh, the tease. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> There's no. something you haven't seen. Zip. My mouth is zipped shut. So, so I'm just looking at the map and looks in the area and just, just says, So what you're telling me is that this whole area is basically just going to have mushrooms everywhere. He says, uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, you'll have to find out. Oh, God fucking damn it. If one of them tries to poison me again, I swear to God. Grim. I mean, just don't yeah. eat them, and they won't poison you. Grim. No. I'm more sentient, Mike, than anything else. Yeah, we're not going that way. We'll go that way. Mm. Grim. Yeah, I have a crack, because it's 200. 40 miles. Which is like. I thought. <laughs> five days on horseback, so. You know, we ain't got horses, so. What's a horse? Well, um, I may try something. Meal you know, summons. What can I summon? A mic. Stuff that can carry other people. Ah. So, uh, because we're kind of standing there, he's like, so, are we good, or? Can a, can a large beast carry a person? Yeah. yeah. Car it can carry <laughs> one person, one medium creature. Hmm. Why, why do you ask? And I can summon how many? <laughs> Oh my god. Oh you're trying oh you're trying to get your steeds your steeds arranged. Alright. Oh no, I can summon a little. Yeah, Kazook's Kazook's standing there and he's just like oh, you know, are we good or he seems like in a hurry. Uh like I like go over to him, like, Yes we're good and I like give him like as he turns and I give him the pad in the back and I whisper and he's here like Whatever you're selling to people that's making them fucked up like little crew over there. 
you're going to stop doing that. And I, like, tear my grip on his shoulder. I'm like, oh, you uh, might lose that arm you've got there. <laughs> sure, make an intimidation check. Four, twice as many, so I can summon four. A giant oh. riding lizard, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as you tell you... No, I wanted, I wanted to summon hyenas, or a dire wolf, Ooh. or cave bears. <laughs> cave bears are medium. Cave bears are, and they're like, they're, I think they're large. Is cave bears are big. Is it brown bears that are medium? Is it a bear that's medium? Uh, yeah, cave bear is large. Yeah, brown and black bears are medium, I think. Right. But cave bears are large. The fucking biggest man here is going to fucking get scared off more than a fucking... No, brown is large too. <laughs> what do you mean the giant riding lizard in that? Yeah. No, so, as you try and intimidate him, he, uh... Slips out of your grasp before you can really, you know, put any pressure on him. He says, eh, "That's gonna be a no from me, Chief. Anyway, thank uh, pleasure doing business. See ya." And he pieces out. Wait, is it the one that wants to buy the silk track? Uh, he's off. <laughs> that intimidation. He was like, "Nah, peace out. See ya." Ah. Oh, I can summon eight. Giant lizard. <laughs> Meanwhile, you just see yes! Ataro sitting at a table, counting on her fingers, for some reason, <laughs> and like thinking really so, hard. Mm. We we can ride on a lizard. For how long? Uh, at least one hour. Great, an hour. I'll guess about five miles. I'm just gonna sign. Keep okay, drinking. Okay, I can do it three times, so that's three hours a day. We gain a bit of terrain, yes. Okay. Well, that's fun. Anyhow, it's a bit faster. Because it pieces out, and you guys are left there, and you have your next step. So, uh, we'll call it there. I'll give you your XP. Hey. Please level up. Yay. Please level up. XP? Please yep. level up. Please level up. Please level up. Uh, yeah, I don't think that we've got... Nine thousand. It's not eight thousand. We need to that. Yeah. Oh yeah, because it's hundred forty. Yeah. We need to get to one hundred and forty. We are one hundred and thirty-one. Yeah. Oops, wrong bit. That's bit. You oh, guys uh, get four thousand six hundred and fifty each. Four thousand. It's not bad. Six. Four thousand six hundred and fifty. Are you 5 XP so, over? I'm 2 XP, XP over. <laughs> I oh. think. Wait, Wait. you both be over Wait. it. Wait. Is this, is this it, boys? <laughs> D&D levels. <laughs>